Okay. Then we can actually start wild herbs. Thank God. <laughs> so, last time wasn't doing so hot. Have to redo all this stuff again. <laughs> I want to say fire is what I use for these guys. I don't remember. Yes, it is very much fire that I use for these guys. You know what? That might be... This might be the one I want to use here. Yo, crit! Let's go! Oh damn, it didn't do any damage to those guys on the left. You can dodge a ball. Yeah, I'm gonna go for I need to I need to heal first. No. Good. Go for the counters. Oh. Oh my god, why is she countering so much? That was very close and I could have died. I hate this. But I think I'll be okay now. Especially because she's just fucking countering everyone! This is fucking free. This is- they're just handing me all this for free. It's great. He ain't dead. She winning. Oh, now you give me the arm down. I would have preferred you did that earlier so you could stop beating on me. Oh my god. She hates these guys. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, I need her to go back down to uh, switch the other two around. That's right. Yo, let's go. I wonder what happens if you get multiple level ups. I wonder if there's a different message for that. Okay, so Rudy's down here. I need him. You know what? I don't think. No, because it's a portal, so it's a one way ticket. Alright, yep, I need to go left. Okay. And confirm.
Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't know if my gun works in these guys, and I don't want to find out. I'm just gonna attack. Cause that works just fine. Yo, sweet, got a level. There we go. Oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Sorry, your volume was really low. Hello? But I can't hear you. Oh, oh, there you go. I can hear you now. Hello? Oh no, he can't hear me. We have a guest here, but he can't hear me. This uh, has been an issue with my uh, new PC, and I'm not quite sure what's causing it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm checking the Discord output now. It is set correctly at the system level. Uh, voice and video. Oh, you know what? That actually might be it. For some reason, Discord changed it. Yep, there we go. Okay. Is it better now? It is better now. I, I don't know why Discord futzes with my audio settings, but it was set correctly at the Windows level. If it's any consolation, that happens to Jess all the time, too. For some reason, Discord oh, just okay. hates her setup and just changes it all the time. Now, for some reason, your stream is frozen, so I'm gonna leave oh. and come back. Oh wait, no, that's that's probably on me. Hang on. Um, oh, okay. Hang on, one second. Uh, dang it, hang on. Okay, here I'm gonna hop out of the call and hop back in. All right. Nope, still. Still shows the frozen image. Hmm. Um, well, here, I can at least share my screen, which will... You won't get any audio, but you'll see it. Alright, that's cool, cool. Uh, Ash still seems quiet. Okay, I can fix that. Give me a second. Cool, cool. Uh, say words, Ash. Uh, Mega Man. Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. Okay, cool. How's that, Jets? I turned up my Discord output because I keep that at like 50% in case people blow up my ear when they join oh, calls. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. Oh, so how are you doing? How's 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 it going tonight? Uh, it's going. You know, I'm uh, hanging in there just uh, getting stuff done. Um, I just took a bunch of the PVRs that were that were requested for April that... Uh, that were marked for anyone to do i just took a bunch of them on myself because uh you know the whole the whole crew's busy including me but i just had time to knock out a few of those a few more of those anyone pvrs and so i've been doing those and getting used to recording on my pc and and Hell yeah. uh yeah so so you got that all set up now yeah generally uh, i don't have my second monitor set up yet but i my single monitor is enough for now uh, i'm gonna do that when i have a little bit of time to build it and just get that going but yeah, I'm pretty much set up. Uh, I need, I still need to kind of do a like a deep dive with uh, with Steve and Brandon on OBS and kind of get like a crash course on how to operate OBS and run GVG Cast. Uh huh. But uh, and eventually watch that track so I can also be able to run that as well. But uh, in terms of actually having it set up, yeah, I, I feel like I'm uh, taking a lot longer to do just 
menial tasks because I'm such a Windows noob. I'm just so ingrained in Mac OS that even doing doing easy things like looking up where a file is in my C drive takes me way longer than I would like it to. <laughs> That's fair. If it's any again, if it's any consolation, Jess is kind of in the same boat. She's gotcha. been primarily like Mac tablet and like very rarely used computers if uh, ever so and uh yeah i mean i've always been a laptop guy i've just I, I had a desktop a mac desktop when i was probably eight or nine and then i also my parents had one of those lime green imacs that i used a ton oh but okay ever since then i've only ever really used laptops so i'm just kind of used to mac laptops and i can use windows it just takes me longer to do anything compared <laughs> to what it would take me on a mac fair understandable i because if you're used to something it's just it's hard to learn the new one you know so yeah exactly so but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm getting there and uh and although i might i might commit what i'm sure many pc fans in, in the gvg community would consider an unspeakable sin but i think i might pick up a magic trackpad because i have been i have <laughs> over years and years and years of using trackpads i'm just better and faster with track pads, track pads and I am mice. Fair enough. Uh, so. I can understand that. Uh, you mean like uh, like the ones you would find on a laptop, right? Like the it's yeah. two buttons and a sliding touchpad? Basically. And, like, and, and Apple has a magic track pad that is basically wireless, works with both Windows and Mac. Uh, and if you, if you install the right plug-in on Windows, you can still get all the gesture-based, you know, like the swiping and the pinching and zooming and all that stuff that I'm Ooh, really used to. Nice. Yeah, so I have I have all that stuff on my laptop, so I'm I'm kinda I, I have best of both worlds where my my desktop is, you know, the dual monitor keyboard mouse setup and then my laptop is just touchpad. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha gotcha yeah. But how have you been? Alright. Uh been been better. Uh been like Weirdly enough, uh, a previous employer has been fighting me on some old unemployment that I haven't oh, col man. collected in a while, uh, and they're looking to get four grand out of me that they say I owe. But uh, that's uh, the problem with that is I, I looked it up, and employers in our state have thirty days to fight that, and it was over three months. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know why they're dragging this out, but you know it's kind of funny they hired they hired a lawyer for all this. Uh, so realistically, they've probably spent three times as much money on that than they have than they would get out of me. So right. you know it's not that bad. It's kind of fucking them over, and that's the important part. So right. good, good. Well, I hope they cry about it and cry more about it because that's yeah, screw that. Yeah, it's it's not fun, but it is what it is. Right, uh, right. Well, at least l legal precedents on your side. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jess prefers the default trackpad on the laptop. Uh, had oh, it for nice. a little while before getting a mouse, and I'm too I'm lazy and don't think of grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. By the way, which chat are we following? Is it small or medium chat or something else? Oh, it's uh just Twitch. I'm on Twitch. So. Oh, you're on just regular Twitch chat. Okay, cool. Yeah. I did not realize that. Well, then I should be able to hear the audio if I just follow, watch your stream on Twitch, so. Oh, yeah. You'll have a slight delay, though, if that's all right. Oh, that's true. Uh, what is your Twitch name again? Uh, uh, Cutie Caitlin. All one word. Okay, same. Okay, cool. Got kind of lucky that not many places have that taken already, so. <laughs> nice, yeah. One thing I will say that I'm not used to that is absolutely delightful is, you know, my it's a almost a five-year-old MacBook Pro at this point, so it's, it's slowed down a little bit. Still definitely renders videos faster than it has any right to, but it's slowed down, and just this PC screams. It is so fast. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a... Do you know if you have an SSD in it? Uh, I don't. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, where would I... Find system info. That's one of those things where I know exactly where to find it. On. Oh, here we go. Uh, system summary. Components. Maybe. Uh, storage. Drives. Uh, says local. It's it's a terabyte local fixed disk. 
Uh, if it's a disk, then that's probably a hard drive. Okay, yeah, I think it is then. All right. But I got well, a terabyte, which is cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Do, oh, uh, Sofa King in the chat asking, does it say M2? Uh, would that be under storage? Let's see. I guess sort of just anywhere. Um, not that I can see. Here, the SCSI settings. No, that's not going to be it. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm, just a summary x64 based pc uh, windows 10 amd ryzen 7 5800x 8 core processor uh, uh he says device no, manager device manager okay so if you type in the search bar on the bottom left if you type in device manager it'll Got it. pop, it'll pop that up okay and then where am I looking under device man manager? There are a bunch of, there's computer. Storage section. Storage. Uh, storage, I see storage controllers. There's no just storage area. Oh, uh, that, that'd probably be it then. Okay. Uh, there is Microsoft storage spaces controller and standard NVM express controller. Ooh, NVM. Yeah, is that a good thing? <laughs> uh... I think NVMe is SSDs. Okay, you do. Oh, nope. Sofa King says you have an SSD. That's probably why it's fast then. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, this whole thing has just been whizzing by. And uh, it's been pretty cool to be able to browse Steam and actually, like, be able to buy games. I bought Chrono Trigger, of course, first. I had, that was always going to be my number one purchase is the Steam version of Chrono Trigger. Understandable. I've since also picked up <laughs> FF6 Pixel Remaster. Ooh, not all of them, just the six one. Just six. I, I just like I know it's gonna be a long time before I have time to play even that. So Fair. There's no point in me picking up all six. Plus, you know, I'm I'm kind of still banking on the on the idea that they're gonna come to console eventually. Fair. And if if and when that happens, I just want to get them all on on Switch. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that's what I'm kind of hoping for too. Yeah. And I know I could connect my, my PC monitor to my TV, but they're in different rooms. I don't want to run a super long cable. I could cast it, I guess. I haven't tried that. I guess I could try casting it from a separate room and see how that how that works out. But I'd rather just, you know, use my consoles. Yeah. It, see, that's the thing is uh, it, it it's doable, but it's inconvenient, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Sofa King White is not a fan of Macs, which I understand. A lot of people aren't. I will swear by them to the day I die, but I am fully cognizant of their weaknesses, like for streaming. They're shit at streaming. Uh, yeah, I mean, I totally am cognizant of, of why and where they suck. Mm -hmm. Or they can suck. Uh, it, it's, it's funny that, like, they suck at streaming because you would think that like of all of all the things that would be good for like video making and content creation, that Mac would be a viable platform for streaming as well. But I guess, I guess the the care just isn't really there, or maybe it's something to do yeah. with how they work. I guess so. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. But all I know is they suck at streaming, and I need something that's better at streaming. So yeah, right. And can actually run OBS and, and Elgato shit, you know, decently. <laughs> and even then, like on PC, it's a fucking nightmare to get that working too. Uh, I know. I've heard. <laughs> me yeah. and me and Jess for the longest time were trying to figure out how to, because she was wanting to do a little bit of Discord streaming, just like hanging out with friends and stuff, and trying to set that up and have audio at the same time from her laptop was like a nightmare and a half. And eventually, Steve was able to help us, but it. It was just, it was awful <laughs> figuring it out. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. No, and it, as bad as it is on PCs, like, trying to get Elgato shit to work on Mac is just, it's the actual worst. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a pulling teeth situation. It's just... Oh, 100%. Yeah, same, mm. with, same with even Avermedia stuff, too. It's just, they, they you can tell that they really aren't all that concerned about Mac functionality, which I get. They don't make as much money from Mac users, nearly as much money from Mac users as they do PC users, so I get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm not nearly as familiar with Wild Arms 1 as I am 2, but this looks like something I would really enjoy playing. It, that's the thing. This game is, like, surprisingly complex for how basic it is. Like, there's a lot of, like, intricate little things going on that, granted, uh -huh. we, had to, we had to look up to figure out how they work. But, you know, we when we found out, like, a lot of the little stuff, it, it, it was actually pretty, like, nice. Like, every character has, like, special functions that are like spells or in this guy's case it's uh what are they called like fast draws which are like special physical skills like stealing or high damage dealing so it's it's pretty nice overall and like there's that is does the second game have a force meter i believe it does it's been so long since i played it but i want to say yes Because, like, even, even that gets incorporated into it where it's, like, you can spend force meter to do, like, summons or other various skills. Or if you let it build up and have a full uh, meter, it'll prevent you from getting ailments. So... Okay, I, that sounds familiar. Yeah, so it's, it's stuff like that that's, like, really cool. But, okay. again, we had to look it up. So the game doesn't really explain a lot of that. God, this... Man, there are force abilities. Yep. Force is, okay, yeah. Force is, let's see, Wild Arms 2. Yeah, there's a force gauge in Wild Arms 2. Dope. Yeah. But yeah, I remember really, really enjoying uh, Wild Arms 2. It was basically a game that I got to get me through the summer of waiting for Chrono Cross. Oh, yeah. Like I just, I, I had it, I just was, I was so desperately hyped for Chrono Cross that I just needed anything to divert my attention and, and wild arms 2 did so admirably so did diablo 2 i played that and diablo 2 that summer a lot why <laughs> that, no that what he wasn't throwing nachos that was uh <laughs> the the enemy was using like a drain skill i guess so it was absorbing nachos from jack did not <laughs> uh but yeah wild arms 2 is definitely i i own all of them except the uh except the remake of one um okay. but I've, I've played a little bit of the remake of one and it is a game that you can play today at some point i heard the, the remake <laughs> isn't great it, the problem is battles have fucking loading screens so you're uh... so you know how in like in ff9 how battles take like a a little bit of time to get going yeah. well the, the difference here is not only do battles take a little while to get going, but there's dead silence while you're waiting for them to get going. So, so it's you're just kind of sitting there like, yup, yup. <laughs> I see. God, I love, <laughs> I love, and I, or I just, I love FF9 so much, but those battles are so slow. They really are. And, and I know that's like a huge point of contention for a lot of people when they play it, but like, I kind of like that it's slower because I'm, I'm slow baby. <laughs> I, I like uh -huh. I like my games where they don't go rapid speed or anything. Oh no, that, I mean that's perfectly. I mean that's totally fair. I just I think I like having the option to, to yeah. speed things up if if I can. Oh, true. But yeah, no, I totally hear you. And sometimes, I mean, even for games like FF6 or, or you know, older Final Fantasies or, or anything that uses ATV, sometimes I set it to wait just so I'm not, like, constantly under pressure to make mini selections super fast. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Get rid of these but fucking no, this looks like something I'd really like to play someday. Yeah, it's a really good game. Uh, it, I really want to go back and... Oh, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, like, it... Right now, it's kind of a, a bad point to, like, show off the game because I'm in a specific dungeon where we had to split up, so... so. Oh, gotcha, okay. But normally, uh, it's three party members, and it's only three in the first one. Uh, the remake added two more, but it's oh, only okay. three in this game. But I, you were uh, saying... I, I really would like to go back and play both Grandia games via the HD version on Switch. Mm -hmm. I love, especially Grandia 2. Like, I love both, but Grandia 2 is just one of my favorite games from the Dreamcast era. And I would love to be able to play those again. Is that uh, Dreamcast only, or did it get re-released anywhere else? Uh, Grandia 2 is also released on PS2, much later on. 
Gotcha. And I think Grandia 1 was both PlayStation and Saturn, I think. Yeah, that's the Dreamcast true. version, I think, is generally considered to be superior uh, in, in terms of Grandia 2. Gotcha. Because I, I know the HD version a lot of people have some contention with, but right. uh, I believe with mods, it's actually cleaned up the experience a lot for people. That's what I've heard as well, yeah. So what are you going to play after Wild Arms? Are you, are you just making your way through the whole series, or...? Uh, no, uh, there's no way I'm playing all five games back to back. I'd go crazy. Um, but that makes sense. I, I don't know. I'm I'm just going to focus on like RPGs I never played. I know. Hang on. I can pull up my list of games. Uh, one second. Uh, they're around here somewhere. Okay. Well, I mean, I have them all in different areas, but uh, let's see. Uh, Brave Fencer Musashi, never played it. Chrono Cross, never oh, played dude. it. Uh, Jade Cocoon, uh, I played a lot when I was a kid, but I barely remember anything about it. Uh, the Lunar games. Uh, oh, yeah. Parasite Eve 1 and 2. Uh, Suikoden 1 and 2. Uh, nice. I have Tear Ring Saga, but that game makes me sad, so I'm not going to keep playing it. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. And then Xeno Gears for PS1, so... Oh, dude, you have so many classics ahead of you, like PS1 classics. Like, Oh, man, I cannot wait until you play Parasite Eve 1 and Brave Fencer Musashi and Xenogears, but especially Parasite Eve and Brave Fencer Musashi. Those games are two of my absolute favorites from the PS1. Yeah, I hear those are, like, well-beloved, and I hope I enjoy them. I would like to enjoy games that people love a lot instead of, <laughs> yeah. instead of being a stickler for... I didn't like it as much as anyone else did. <laughs> hey, but you gotta be true to yourself, and, and it's better to be true to your own opinions than be pressured into liking something that you don't. Like, I like Great Ace Attorney. I know a lot of people, most people love it, but you didn't. God, that's what totally a, fair. What an awful game. Just what a completely <laughs> shit experience that was. But you don't feel the same way about Great Ace Attorney 2, right? Only one? Uh, the first case is all I've played of 2, and it was already okay. miles better than the other game, so... Okay. Well, I can definitely say from my perspective, I, I did like a Greatest Journey one a lot, but it, it got pretty long in the tooth. It, it was, it, I think, it could have been a little shorter. And uh, Greatest Journey two, the pacing is much better. I would say, on the whole, the cases are better. And everything people have told me about cases four and five being absolute roller coasters all the way to the end has been true so far. My wife and I are finally on the final case. Oh, nice! And it's been nice. nothing but just holy crap revelation after holy crap revelation. I do, I do want to get back to Great Ace Attorney 2 at some point, but I think I just got distracted by other games, and I was like, you know what? I didn't enjoy the first one. Why would I keep playing the second one? And then... Right. No, that's totally <laughs> fair. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I'll get back to it eventually, because I do like Ace Attorney. Uh, I'm even one of the weirdos that likes 5 a lot, even though that's generally considered not a fan favorite by any means. Right, okay. I, everything I know of 5 is from the art book that I localized for Udon. I haven't actually played 5 yet, but I'm basically waiting for, you know, the, the second trilogy to come out on consoles, which was part of that Capcom Giga leak from, like, you know, a year and a half back or so. Yeah. So I assume it's coming at, at some point, and, and that it'll, it'll be at that point that I... Like, my wife and I tried to play uh, Apollo Justice on the DS together, and it's just it was a shitty experience having to crowd around that small screen. So yeah. uh, I think that once the second trilogy comes to consoles, we're going to totally devour all three of those games together. Oh, yeah. You'll definitely enjoy them because I hear yeah. f 4, 5, and 6 do have their fans. So Yeah, definitely. And like I didn't – it uh, Apollo Justice was definitely my least favorite of the games so far, but I didn't like – I wasn't disliking it. I just wasn't loving it like I do the others. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I love on. these old school PS1 models. They're great. Uh, yeah, they're so chibi and cute. I love them. I love them. I love them. And I, uh, oh god, uh, do you have the sound for the stream or no? I do not. Okay, because if you uh, if you want to listen to uh, the uh, gremlin enemies that I'm encountering every now and then, like the with the giant wrenches. When you hit them, they make like a cat meow as their noise. Oh, okay. It's it's very funny. I love it. When you get another fight, I'll uh, with those enemies, I'll turn it up. Hell yeah! It's mainly just so I don't I don't hear uh, any feedback, so I, and just get like 
confused over hearing everything we're saying twice. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to keep my voice down when I encounter them, so. Let's see here. These guys, right? Uh, no, it'll be, oh, uh, the raid busters. Okay. they, uh, they're like, they have like a white hat and they have a giant wrench in their arms. You'll, oh, okay. you'll, you'll very, and I mean it literally, like it is a wrench. It's not anything else. So. Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Ash boot up the battle music. <laughs> the battle That's music true, is right? so fucking good in this game. Here, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do just that. Let's see. Cause I, I've heard wild arms soundtrack, but it's been quite a while so good the composer for this just fucking shredded and it's so good it's uh michiko naruke apparently whose name i don't recognize uh i don't know what else they've done uh i know they did wild arms like uh like the series yeah. i'm pretty sure oh, so okay. oh yeah this is this slaps so good and it definitely has that signature ps1 sound i love it Uh, and I'm pretty oh, yeah, sure it's, it's all sequenced in this game, too. So it's like yeah. later games would use, like, actual, like, music. <laughs> right. Um, I'm looking at my PS2 games as well, and I have the, the sequel to Jade Cocoon, which I never even knew existed before I looked it up. Um, and then, weirdly enough, uh, oh, this is the gremlin I was talking about. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Let me... Pause the music and then turn this up. I unfortunately think I was still talking when I when, when you hit the enemy. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I, uh, I'm also having a hard time hearing it on, uh, it's weird. I've been having this issue with my volume on the PC where sometimes even the max volume will be really quiet. Mm -hmm. I don't know what causes that. Uh, there, I turned it up a little bit. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, shake weight in the chat. Yes. I, I, I want to replay Jade Cocoon. I used to play it when I was young. So I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> nice. Um. Oh, hang on. Pull. I'll pull it back up. Uh. I also apparently Fantasy Star One and Two had PS2 remakes, and I never knew about that until I played the first game on Sega Master System already. So, okay. oops. Uh. And then I mentioned uh, Wild Arms Three through. Five, uh, and then Rogue right. Galaxy is another one, and then the Xenosaga games. So, gotcha. Yeah, I, I can hear your voice clearly. It's more the game volume that's super low still for me. Oh, uh, is that on Discord? On Twitch. Okay. Um. Hang on, let me... I can't hear the audio at all on Discord for whatever reason. There, I... I okay, so, I had to redo my audio setup uh, for streaming. So, oh, okay. so everything that isn't my voice comes through one output now. Uh, and so, I have to manually balance everything. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so, I, I boosted both you and the game simultaneously. So, now oh, it should nice. be okay. a, a bit nicer on stream. Hopefully. Gotcha. There, and I just attacked him, so there you'll be able to hear it now. Oh, I totally hear it. It's like a wow. Yeah, That's it's so a, weird. It's like literally just a, like a cat. It's just a cat meow, and I don't know why. I assume it was like a stock sound effect. <laughs> That's so weird. But it doesn't even look like a, a, a cat. I guess it has cat ears. That's mark. true, I guess. God, that's so weird. And, and it's not the only one that does this. There are, like, goblins in this game that just straight up look like goblins, and they make cat meows uh -huh. as well. <laughs> that's so funny. 
Oh, and what was it? Uh, in the early game, there's an enemy called a balloon, which is, it's just Legion. Like, it's literally just like a meatball with faces on it. Uh-huh. And, and it uses the cat meow for some reason. Gotcha, gotcha. So what, what are some other games that you would say that, like, are widely popular that you've kind of been like, eh? Uh, DQ11, uh, Final Fantasy VI, okay. uh, Chrono Trigger. Uh, oh, I remember, you, I remember you mentioned Chrono Trigger, right. Yeah, and like, and it's not that I don't like any of. Well, Dragon Quest Eleven S I hated, but no, not hated. That's too strong of a word. I don't like it though. That's for sure. Um, okay. But Chrono Trigger and FF Six, I was like, yep, it's a game. <laughs> like I. <laughs> Fair enough. I played it and I was like, yep, I enjoy it. And then I move on. <laughs> Hey, fair enough. I mean, maybe, you know, it might be different if you were there at the time. It, you know, that's completely fair. I can't say that, you know, I can't uh, apply my experience with it to everybody else. It might be it might be different if I had discovered it later on. I, I can't, I don't think it would, but I'll never know. Right. Oh, that's the thing is, like, I know I know 112 played through Chrono Trigger for the first time, and they loved it. So, like, uh-huh. yeah. and, they, and they 100%ed the whole thing. So, like, clearly there's something there. It just depends if it clicks with you or not. Sure, yeah. So it's it's funny, DQ eleven S at least was uh other than this the the mostly disappointing soundtrack was probably a top five RPG of all time for me, and I'm curious what it is that you don't like about it. It's so basic. It's so it is very safe. It is very old school in terms of its gameplay. It That's is fair. it is so flat, it is so uninteresting, and it like I, I enjoy some of the character moments, but there's not enough for me to care. And I hate the pro tag being silent. Uh-huh. Completely yeah, ruins I, that I don't game. Like that either. Completely Comple- agree. Because yeah. like, because that's the thing is like Persona Four also has that, and that's my favorite game of all time. But the difference there is that there are dozens of other characters to kind of make up for the slack. And then there's sure. also like the anime, the sequels, which develop. Narukami into his own character, right? Yeah. But Dragon Quest Eleven just has eleven, like that's it. <laughs> yeah. So no, I completely agree. And and like some of the really dark shit that he goes through demands a character who will react to that dark shit. I totally hear you. Yeah, like some of the shit he gets told, and he just reacts with like a frowny face, and it's like I, yeah. I hate this. This <laughs> this is awful. Yeah. And then no, the soundtrack like, didn't help. Yeah. Uh, whether you use the orchestrated version or not, I think that soundtrack. Is extremely bland and uninteresting. It is the thing that that kind of saved the soundtrack for me was changing the world or the overworld theme from 11s to 8s. That definitely helped, but mm-hmm. it's still the soundtrack is very disappointing in that game. But God, the the story and characters for me and some of the twists that happened were just top notch for me. And it's just I, I enjoyed the whole adventure despite how long it is. But I, I totally hear you. Those are all totally fair criticisms. Yeah, and and that's the thing is like I'm not, I'm not going to forums and being like everyone should hate it. Ah, like, right, of course, yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't know. It just, I wish I liked it, but when I beat it, I was just like, yep, it was a video game. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Did you did you do all three acts or did you stop at the end of Act Two? Nope, I beat it all. Okay, I I, I will say, and I won't spoil anything for for your audience, but the. The big thing that leads into Act 3, the big thing that you have to do, the choice, like, absolutely broke my heart. And I sat there for, like, 45 minutes just not, just thinking about the implications and not wanting to go through with it. Yeah. It it just, it broke me. I was like, oh, man, what a cool thing to be presented with. But, man, it hurts. Like, I just didn't want to do it. Understandable. Yeah. But, but yeah, overall, it just... I don't know. It's just a very flat RPG for me. And I don't think a lot of individual moments were earned. Um, like, the sacrifice that's made around the middle of the game, I I think got completely over... Like, completely worthless later on. Sure. Like, it didn't matter. Okay. So, uh-huh. and it also ruined my gameplay style, which I got used to. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. No, that's all completely fair. Um, but yeah, like no hate. If if y'all love it, y'all love it. No problem. Sure, and that's uh, the difference. It's it's different if you can dislike something without trolling the people who love it, and that's just completely different. Yeah, 
And, like, that's the thing. It's, like, I try to poke fun at it every now and then where I'll just be, like, oh, wow, you like game cringe, like, uh -huh. <laughs> or, like, whatever, right? But I'll never, like, actively ask people, like, why do you like this? Like, it's, that's kind of bogus, so. Yeah. Oh, no, thank totally God. I'm, I'm finally at the save point. Uh, last time, I went through this entire tower and then ended up dying in a fight, so I had to oh, redo... No. I, this the start of this stream was redoing half of it, so <laughs> I oh gotcha. It is what it is though, <laughs> but we're done with it. Well, mostly. Nice. I just have a have to walk up a couple more stairs and we're good. Uh, Skull Kid Tiger, hello. He's in the chat. Hi. Oh hey. Astral Chain. Yeah, you know that is a game that had missing uh, or lost potential with that mute protagonist. Yeah, and that's I the like thing the is game. like the sibling yeah. is voiced. Why is the sibling voiced but not the pro tag? Like yeah. you have, you literally have voice actors already. Just voice them. <laughs> like, why are you like this? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. I I completely hear. You. I don't really, and that's the one knock I have against Chrono Trigger. I don't think it it hurts Chrono Trigger quite as much because. Well, no, there is some really fucked up shit that happens to Chrono, too. So, yeah, no, it does. And that's the one thing I don't like is silent protagonists in any game. I'm not into it. I don't like that self-insert where you are supposed to be the hero and feel like you're making their decisions. That's never worked for me, ever. Yeah, and it's especially true for me when it comes to, like, the Persona games. Because in the Persona games, like, especially the, the social ones, you're supposed to... You're not supposed to tell people what you feel. It's what they want to hear. Like, that's right. sort of... And and so it it really it really kind of takes you out of it when it's like, well, I wouldn't say this to the person. And honestly, what I'm saying to them is kind of fucked up. But, but objectively, I get more gameplay points, quote-unquote, out of it by picking the shitty answer or something, you know? So Right. And I do, and as you said, Persona 4 has that supplementary media that really helps give Narukami like a, a really interesting personality like I love what the anime does to, to him he just oh my god a the anime He's is hilarious. so fucking good yeah that, that, that's that episode with the nightclub is one of oh, my favorite single episodes of anime ever oh my god I love the nightclub I love what they did with <laughs> so it it's good. so good <laughs> And, and, and Narukami is just, he's just such a G, and he's just such a, you know, he's just, you know, got all the women sw swooning for him, and he's just, and he's so confident, even though he's kind of still, he's still kind of a goofball and a nerd, and he just kind of accidentally becomes that really cool, you know, badass with swagger, you know? Mm -hmm. It's great. I love what they do with Narukami in the anime. It's and, hilarious. And likewise, I don't enjoy what they did with, uh, Makoto Yuki in Persona 3, the P3 pro oh, tag. Uh, Be yeah. Because, like, in the, in the movies that adapt that game, he's still mostly just kind of a flat character, and they don't right. really do anything like they did with you. Which, granted, you know, it's a little harder to do that in movie format, but, like, I don't know, they do almost nothing with him, so. Right. All right, well, it's boss time yeah. now, I guess, so I gotta fight nice. this Nice, you got this. You got this. Yeah, so Jess, you make a good point. I, I, I'm also fine with mute protagonists in games like Animal Crossing. Like, yeah, no, I totally hear that. And I go back and forth on, like, Zelda. Like, in games like... I, I like the Wind Waker more because Link has more of an actual character and he's not completely mute. Yes. Whereas in, in games like Breath of the Wild, I feel like there's enough that Link goes through in that game that he really should be... should not be silent. I want to hear his his thoughts on everything going on and not just uh, relegated to like a diary entry. I agree. That That's yeah. what, that, that's what like sort of pissed me off about breath of the wild is that, you know, during marketing, they show off all these cool cutscenes and voice acting and granted link wasn't talking, but I was like, you know what? Maybe it'll be like persona where the other characters kind of pick up the slack. And then I find out 99% of the cutscenes they show were optional. And I'm just yeah. like, I'm just like, wow, what a, what a way to ruin my mood on that. So. Yeah, I did not like that at all. Completely agree. Uh, what yeah, like I Breath have? of the Wild, great game. 
just barely makes my top five Zelda games, but mainly for its gameplay uh, and, and the immersion of its world. Absolutely not for story, because the story is essentially, hey, all this cool shit with all these cool characters happened 100 years ago, but they're all gone now, and go hang out by yourself and <laughs> watch all this cool stuff that happened 100 years ago, which is one reason I really liked Age of Calamity, because it gave me the chance to hang out with the champions that I love so much. And right. even if the frame rate was like, you know, an average of 15 FPS, I still really enjoyed the game and, and, and having that experience of being around the champions and yeah. playing as them. Yeah, for sure. Like, the it it was able to, like, it again, it was the supplementary material which added something, right? Yeah. But, like, you know, there, there's also times where that doesn't work, like FF15, where, you know, oh, it's... Yeah like the supplementary material like dlc movies and anime like there was just too yeah. much of it you know <laughs> like, uh, so that, that king's glaive i went to a screening of it here in la and it was i was so excited and it, what a bad movie the movie fucking sucks god what a fucking terrible movie it's such uh, a bad um, movie <laughs> i will defend at least one of its supplementary like releases and that is episode ignis that is one of the best single dlcs I've ever played and it, oh it, it I actually, actually didn't adds. I actually didn't play oh, didn't? any of the DLC so oh man like episode gladio totally skippable episode proptos pretty good kind of kind of cool but episode ignis completely like oh man the context it adds for the sacrifice ignis makes and I won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't played it and it intends to but the context it adds for the sacrifice he makes mm -hmm. is fantastic and it makes Ignis even more interesting than he already is. I can't, I cannot recommend Episode Ignis enough. <laughs> Skull Kid Tiger. I know you refuse to ever tell me uh -huh. your true I opinions on Breath of the Wild, but I really like the ambiguity. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. I just Breath of the Wild pissed me off too much, so. No, I totally get it. I don't don't hate it. Just never gonna go back to it. So. No, me neither. Like, and, and I'm looking forward to Breath of the Wild too. But I, I hope that they pull off the storytelling a little better, a lot better than they did in Breath of the Wild one. Yeah, I hope they pull off story, just at all. Yeah, story at all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, you're totally right. And we'll see. We'll oh, see. No. But I know, you know, Nintendo is unlikely to be the ones to do that. Or see, are, like, and, the, and that's the thing is they have moments. Like they've definitely yeah. done good storytelling, but if you look at sort of their their catalog, it's very rare that a first party game ever does it when it's not developed by another studio of some kind. So Right, right. Oh god. Um I have I have one of those. Ugh. Uh you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then What does that do? Okay. Um Oh, yeah, Rudy. There we go. I need to, like, carefully plan this out so no one dies, <laughs> so... Uh -huh. Well, would you say this is a, a, like, a difficult game on the whole, or not so much, or...? Uh... I mean, all the... I mean, this boss, yes, but for the most part, uh -huh. no. I would say the game is gotcha. fairly standard. standard. Okay. I would say it's, like, a, the, a solid uh... normal difficulty throughout the whole thing, so... Gotcha. I do love the Earthbound-esque, like, psychedelic background for this boss fight. That's cool. Yeah, this is the only time they've done it, and it's really it's really awesome. Huh. Is it is that, like, contextual to the story, or is it just they just happen to do it in this fight? Uh, we opened up a box that let this creature come out, and okay, this creature sort of, like, got trippy, I guess. I don't know. Gotcha, yeah. It, it reminds me of the, uh, what is it, the uh, Earthbound Saturn scene? Where it's like the midway point of the game, and the game oh, just like oh, I love the coffee scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are great. I love that. I'm now I'm have the music playing in my head. I love the, the music for those scenes too. I just love Earthbound. Yeah, Earthbound's so good. Oh man, that was uh, that I, I found out the night I, I met my my wife, there who would eventually be my wife, that her favorite game of all time was Earthbound. I'm like, I Yo. have to get your number. I have to. <laughs> Yo, babe, hook it up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, and the way she she presented it too, she's like, oh, you 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 uh, you know are all about video games. Oh, you know, I played a lot of games growing up, and I still really like them. And and uh, I'm like, oh, cool. What's your favorite? And she's like, well, it's probably this game you've never heard of before. Nobody else has heard of it. And I'm like, try me. 
<laughs> and she's like, well, you know, it's back from the Super Nintendo day days, and it's like this little game called Earthbound. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Earthbound <laughs> is a masterpiece. Yeah. Holy shit. That game fucks. And then we started talking about it. Yeah. And we uh, we started talking about it. She's like, you know, one of these things I feel like so many people don't get about Earthbound is that it's, yeah, it's really cute and, and fun on the surface, but it's actually really fucking dark, and so nobody gets that. And I'm like, oh, my God, I found my soulmate. I <laughs> I have to get your number. Holy shit. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm glad you bonded yeah, over four, that. <laughs> 14 years later, we're, we're going strong. <laughs> that's good, at least. Still likes Earthbound. That's good. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, no, no, she is still her favorite. And uh, I later on, I got her to play Chrono Trigger, and she loved it. And uh, so, you know, when we play games, you know, some games together now. And But yeah, 14 years later, it's uh, still going great. I'm very lucky. Hell yeah. I know uh, I've been meaning to, like, because me and Jess have, like, tried to play through a lot of games together. Um, but it's mm. obviously a lot harder when you're separated by an entire lake uh, in, in a different state. So Oh, uh, totally. Uh, so, you know, we, we've done, like, for example, she played through uh, Persona 5 Royal via the PlayStation SharePlay feature. And that was... Uh -huh. That that was like super fun to like, you know, just watch watch her play through it and then like you know tips and tricks that kind of thing, right? So sure, yeah. And I'm hoping eventually, you know, once we're like moved in together or something like that, we can share more games that you know are easier to <laughs> that we don't have to rely on the internet to play together. Right. Totally. Yeah. I hear you. Um, so you said two of the games you have also have yet to play are the Lunar games, correct? Yeah, I I don't think I have Lunar One. Let me check. What, that's on. That's on PS One and uh, I believe Saturn. I think they're both PS One and Saturn. Uh, weird. I only have Lunar Two. Okay, I'll get. Oh, okay. I'll get Lunar One at some point then. They're they're both I mean, they're both great and they're both classics for a reason. But I would say that by today's standards, they can be a little grindy. I still wholeheartedly re recommend them, but they're a bit grindy, and mm -hmm. can be a little bit uh, a little bit ridiculous encounter wise and difficulty wise at, at points for sure. Yes, said uh, that's just code for her saying I'll be found fucking drowning in RPGs. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not my fault. You should play more of them. They're good. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, they are. I not that it's like a full RPG, but I'm. Uh, it's you know there are RPG elements. I'm still chipping away at Horizon Forbidden West two and a half months later after its release. It's just it's one of those games where it's not only so big, but it's just one of those games where I really want to do all the side stuff because it's all so good, and I just yeah. love exploring the world. So hell yeah. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Fairly somewhat early in the story, but I'm at 85% game completion because I've been just exploring and do, <laughs> doing. Jesus all the... Christ! <laughs> That's yeah. so much. And I did the same thing in Horizon Zero Dawn too. I like went and explored the entire world map before I even started doing like a fairly early story quest. That's hilarious. I love that. Yeah, but it's but it, you know the way I see it is I'm enjoying I'm loving just immersing myself in this world and its lore and exploring and then I still have the best that I've saved for last, which is just all the, all the big story stuff. So I'm in, I'm just going to get it all in a row, all the big story revelations and all the main quests, and I'm super excited about that, and I'm pretty close to that point, too. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Skull Kid asking if you're overpowered yet. Oh, I've been overpowered. Not even yet. I've been overpowered. I hit the level cap like 15 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, like, all this legendary equipment that I've been, you know, slowly uh, leveling up and powering up. And, you know, I have it set to normal difficulty. And even even enemies like Thunderjaws and Slaughter Spines are pretty, pretty irrelevant now. Like, it, there are certain fights where if I'm, like, up against multiple Apex Ravagers at once or Apex, you know, Ravagers and maybe, like, a... Leap, leap lasher, uh, all apex machines. That could be pretty tough. But if it's just like even an apex thunderjaw or slaughter spine by itself, I've got all the equipment to make short work pretty quickly. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, you know, it took a lot of a lot of time and and work to get there, but now I'm just enjoying having that op feeling. 
But yeah, the story missions are going to be just child's play. Like, the, the story missions for the level I'm at are just going to be absolutely easy. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's how you do it. Um, Jess mentioned earlier how... Uh, or asked, is this when I mentioned that Ocarina of Time bores me? <laughs> Mario 64 does that and can just be frustrating. Hey, you know what? That's totally fair. Um, Mario 64, I still love it, but I can totally see that it's, you know, how it's aged poorly in certain ways, like camera control and such, or the lack thereof. But, man, if you were there at the time, it was such a revolution. Mm -hmm. Like, Mario 64 was revolutionary at the time that it came out. But, yeah, certainly it has not uh, aged well in certain respects. And Ocarina of Time, I, I get that it could be considered basic, uh, you know, in terms of its its setup and its structure, but man, again, at the time, just playing a Zelda game in 3D was its own. I mean, that shit moment. Th that was like the first to do its thing. You know, like it's mm -hmm. it, it there really wasn't another adventure game like that in 3D or yeah. otherwise. You know, so oh, what's this? Bottle floating in the water. Nice. Oh my god. Adventures captain of trade ship seeks open minded ladies 18 years plus for the rest. Oh. oh my god, that's the worst. I hate that. <laughs> oh no, I can't. Keep I love going. this old school world map. It's great. It's so good. This whole game is good. Yeah. And it's probably going to be part of that Sony premium service or whatever. So hopefully oh, that's, that's good too. I hope so. I, I really, it's it's really going to come down to the library, right? And just what they actually offer. Right. Oh, hydrate if you can, because Jess redeemed the hydrate. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't have anything hydrating around me, but I can go get some water, which I probably should anyway. So I will be right back. Hell yeah. Shout outs to 1112. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, later. Man, that boss fucking sucked. <laughs> I, I didn't realize until towards the end of it that I was like, oh, wait a minute, I can just cast Absorbing Magic and win uh, an item floating in a bottle. Yo, free Crest Graph, let's go. Damn it. Can't. Can't go that way. Oh wait, that's the the renamer guy. Fuck that guy, he sucks. I'm gonna shoot these crabs. What's to one one two two? I have returned. Oh, welcome back. With uh, some water so I can properly hydrate. Hell yeah. Stay it's hydrated. Good thing, I think my wife and I will probably have a, have a couple of drinks later. Yo, let's go. Yeah. Just like casual chilling out. Yeah, we might go get uh, some dinner out or not sure, but or we might just hang out and play some Ace Attorney. But yeah, just sometimes it's nice uh, after a particularly hectic weekday to have a couple of shots to unwind. Hell yeah. I still want to have one of those. Uh, whenever we can make it happen, I'd like to have another, like, crazy, drunken Mario Party session with you and Steve. I think that would be so fun. Yo, we can do that. <laughs> Anytime. I know Steve wasn't able to drink last time because I think he was uh, with his sister at the point at, at that point or something. But yeah, he was still house hopping at the so time. Fun. Yeah, like man, if we could even like, it would be so fun to get like a fucking 50 turn game a bunch of drinks and just go oh my god wild. i'll fucking die let's do <laughs> that it that would be so fun right <laughs> i hope they do dlc for that game like i i love superstar so much and it's the best mario party game in years and years and years but man i, I need i just want more than five boards yeah that, and that's the thing is like five boards is like kind of normal for mario party like yeah but like I don't know when you're when you're like celebrating a huge part of the game, it just feels so empty. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Or, 
a huge part of the game's uh, plural. <laughs> so, and like, yeah. I need my Waluigi Island, please. I need to ruin people's uh -huh. lives with that board, and I can't do it <laughs> if I'm if I can't play it. Right. Uh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, like I think boards maybe. I would be okay with some mini games, like maybe ten to twenty additional mini games per like, like if they did a map pack or something like that, and like, mm -hmm. and each pack quote unquote came with like ten to twenty new ones, I'd be okay mm -hmm. with that. Like yeah, me too. Especially because a lot of the ones that are currently in the game are kind of repeats of each other. Like it's right. this one's like collect things running around or collect things <laughs> riding in a vehicle or. Yeah. race in a vehicle of some kind and it's like eh. right. yeah i mean I, selfishly i would be happy if they just added literally everything from mario party 6 because i think that's the best one. Ooh, nice but you know i'd be happy if they just added a little bit more from the gamecube games in general like maybe a board or two from mario party 4 and 6 and yeah It's Damn so it. great, like, now that you're out of that dungeon, I can you know, properly see more of the world map and regular three-person battles. Like, this is really cool. Yeah, you get to, like, actually see wild arms. Like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna blast these shitty birds out of here. Alright. <laughs> uh, no, I know it won't happen, but I, <laughs> I just want them to bring back some of the boards from the GameCube ones. Cough, cough, six and seven. God, me too. Like, uh, especially Fair Square. Bring that shit back, man. I love that. Is that, that the so is that the one where you like completely destroyed people? <laughs> yeah, I got twenty six <laughs> stars that night. At what the? Dark. That was. I can't. Hilarious. I can't even imagine how painful I mean, that felt <laughs> for everyone that wasn't you. <laughs> Oh, no, it was it was amazing. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't for them, but it was amazing for me. I've never played that well on that board, and it was just a combination of of a few very good decisions and just very good dice rolls and luck. Mm -hmm. But no, it was that was amazing. But yeah, I see. The only thing that makes me think they won't do it is uh, all the boards have like very basic mechanics. Sure. Uh, yeah. So like. A lot of the more gimmicky ones that are in later games are probably not going to happen, which is unfortunate because they're good. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. All right, where is this? I always heard Wild Arms 3 was really good because that's got, uh, I know Virginia is a very popular main character. Virginia? Is that her name? Yeah. Her name's Virginia, and she's like a redheaded cowgirl, and she was one of the earlier examples of like a cool, like just non overly sexualized heroine. Oh, nice. Kind of like, uh, kind of like Aya Brea. I always is a huge fan of Aya from Parasite Eve. And, and it's because she's like, yeah, I mean, she's, she's definitely could be considered hot, but she's not like wearing, she's wearing clothes that make sense for a cock, right? She's tough. She doesn't take any bullshit. You know, she, she's not like overly sexualized and she's just a badass. And she was like one of the earliest examples of like that kind of, you know, female main character. And I think Virginia was much the same. She yeah. is another good example, well, I guess, too. Zen uh, Zenosaga was also a bit forward looking in that sense. That's that's not the blue hair girl, right? That's Cosmos, right? That's Cosmos. Yeah, she's like the she I would say she's like the deuteragonist, right? Like okay. Shion's the protagonist, or if anything, they're like dual protagonists, but I would say she's probably more like a deuteragonist. Okay, gotcha. Because I was going to say, yeah. like, I only see her in, like, crossovers and stuff. I don't see her. I don't see anyone yeah. else. <laughs> Cosmos is definitely the poster the, the poster girl for Xenosaga. Uh, have you played those games? Nope. Man, those are, those are a trip. I definitely recommend if you ever get around to playing them, you should. Um... They're, they it's a pretty much pretty amazing how wildly they vary in quality to the point where they almost feel like three different games despite being you know part of the same story mm -hmm. but like one is good but just really weird and uneven and two is not very good but it has its redeeming qualities but three is dead ass one of the very best jrpgs on the ps2 which is a very high bar as you know right right yeah it's just wild how much that game or that series jumps in quality. But yeah, uh, three is just holy shit! What a game! 
<laughs> Fair. Uh, Shake Wait saying, I want Caitlyn to play her I favorite game, FF12. Yeah, I fucking hate FF12. That game sucks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. On that, we completely align. Uh, FF12 is, is one of my least favorite Final Fantasies. I can't, I, I can't stand that fucking game. <laughs> yeah, like, I will admit that the uh, the Zodiac whatever edition uh, definitely makes it a lot better. But I even then, I could only get to maybe a little less than halfway through the game until I had to drop it. I just couldn't, I couldn't yeah. stick with it. I, I definitely got farther in Zodiac Age than I did in Vanilla. But that's, yeah. you know, it, it's, I lasted an extra 10 seconds with Mike Tyson in the fight. Like, I, I didn't, right. I didn't care enough. I was just like, God, I fucking hate this game. It's like, <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing. If you made me put down a game with sexy bunny women, then you fucked up. Like, that's. Yeah, right? <laughs> like. I, it's just so bland. Like, just the, I mean, and I like the FF Tactics version of Evil East. It's not even like I hate Evil East, but. The world in 12 is so bland, and, like, the characters outside of uh, Balthier and Fran, and I guess Ash, are just so boring. Bosch is okay, I guess. And and but... that's a, and that's the thing for me. It's entirely gameplay. Like I wouldn't even I wouldn't uh, even exactly. mind the characters and story kind of being sucky if the gameplay was like totally dope. But the yeah. the that game has so many difficulty spikes. It looks like you know how like. <laughs> Like, werewolves have, like, rows of teeth that are sharp, right? Like, that's difficulty yeah. spikes in that game. Like, they're yeah. just, every now and then, it's just like, here's a boss that will just stick a spiked dildo up your ass. And that's, a, what you'll just have to deal with that. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. god damn it, I didn't grind for four hours. Like, ugh. But it is what it is. I got farther in Zodiac Age, so it's something, I guess. But it's not yeah. much. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck to go. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I do I, love this world map though it's so old school it really is uh, I, I have a guide open now because like it kind of got to that point in some RPGs where it's just like good luck kid like <laughs> you know like uh, so I'm. it says I need to go to a specific town but I, it doesn't tell me where the town is wait what, what the fuck happened there did you see that no what uh, oh wait no I did see that that was super weird right yeah, okay. Like I, it looked like the enemy kind of clipped with the with the ship, right? Yeah, yeah. It just like teleported under the ship and then came yeah, back. That was so <laughs> like, weird. Yeah, was... I had like a slight delay on my end, so when you asked me, it hadn't happened yet. But then I saw it, and I'm like, that's so weird. <laughs> Jess, I heard sexy bunny women. Yeah, in a very bad game. Don't play it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing is like the story would be interesting, but it has the gameplay, so I don't care <laughs> anymore. Right. <laughs> like, but it, so it is what it is. But I'm I'm not gonna sit here ragging on it because I I have better things to do with my life, like not play 12. So I'm playing a better sure. game. <laughs> and there are certain certainly people out there. I mean, a lot of people out there who love it. Oh yeah, there are definitely fans of it, and that's fair. Like yeah. Vaughn was one of my uh, God. I just don't want to fight anymore. I'm so sick of fighting. Um, Vaughn was uh, my main in Dissidia Duo Decum. So yeah, he was okay. Yeah, so, you know, like, he has elements of him I like, but that's yeah. when you put him in a completely different combat system, so. <laughs> God, I'm trying to find, I'm, you know what, I, I'm just going to Google it, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> um. Sometimes you have to oh. for some of these, you know, older school RPGs. Oh, I fucked up, okay, never mind. I... It tells me I need to go to another place that leads to the place I'm going to. So, mm -hmm. there we go. I found it. I'm okay. We're okay. Nice. We're hanging in there. Um, God, just fuck off. Wait, how do we run away from this? It's on It's on our boat. Like, how do we... <laughs> how are we running from that? Yeah, we... well, yeah, same thing in DQ11, right? There was that, that issue in that game, too. How do you run, some, from, run from something when it's on your ship? FF1 probably had that as well. I never ran in oh, that yeah. game, but it, it, if you're on a boat, how do you run away? Just, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, keep sailing. <laughs> it, they'll just, they'll fall off. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with, I guess, like Lufia as well. Really, really any any uh, RPG with a ship. Oh, Lufia is another one I need to play. Dude, yeah, especially Lufia 2. Lufia 2 is a classic. 
Uh, I, I know Amber was like super hyped when I brought up Lufia's games and I wait, uh, Lufia 3 is a Game Boy game, right? Or like Game Boy Color or something? Yes, Lufia 3 is. I never played that one. Okay, yeah. She sent me like a screenshot of it and I was like, holy shit, because that game looks amazing for Game Boy Color. Like it has no business being as detailed as it is. And I I, I remember my message to her was just like, is this on PS5? What the hell is this? Like, uh, <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah, no, uh, Lufia 3 I never played, but 1 is, is, is good and 2 is honestly one of the best SNES RPGs out there. Yeah. And uh, what was I going to say? I was gonna say something about Lu oh and then the, there was a really weird remake of lufia 2 for ds it just kind of came out of nowhere but that was actually kind of good in its own way it wasn't as good as the original lufia 2 but it was kind of cool in its own way uh are those like okay so i heard those are like zelda games or are they like the, the rpgs remake one is. the remake of lufia 2 is weirdly more of an action rpg it plays more like zelda completely changes the, the turn-based combat from the original game. Oh. Uh, or the original Lufia 2. So I don't know what they were thinking with that, but it was still kind of enjoyable in its own way. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Really weird game, though. Uh, if Then I'm not playing the remake, then. I prefer my turn-based games. <laughs> right, right. That, what? There we go. Now let me in. Wait. Uh Okay. Had to Where is it? You didn't tell me where it is. Oh, it's a long it's It's a long hike inland from the beach between Tripillar and Ship Graveyard. God damn it, Ga guide. <laughs> These guy people who make guides Y'all need to work on your communication skills. Right. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, the tri-pillar was like in the center area, kind of, I think. I just need to find that again. Once I find that, I'll be good. I'll find it eventually. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I remember how hard it was for me to find the, uh, in Final Fantasy VIII, the white seed ship later on in the game. Oh, I so I haven't gotten through eight yet. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm playing through it sparingly. Uh, oh, okay. I, I do like it. I just haven't gotten around to much of it yet. So yeah. It, eight eight references are gonna fly over my head for the most part since I haven't played it. Sure, sure. Once you get to that point and you're working on finding the white seed ship, you'll see what I mean. Hmm. I just I love uh, I, I it's probably my least favorite of the PS1 trilogy of Final Fantasy games but I do love how fucking weird it is it's like the video game version of playing a fever dream and I <laughs> I'm all about that hell yeah I mean it, yeah. it is very much a I mean literally you play dreams in that game at one point exactly so. <laughs> yeah it's a good game I, I, and I love the fucking music in that game. The music is so fucking good. It's one of Final Fantasy's oh, best. It is. Honestly, I think it is, for me, still the peak of Oyamatsu's career. I think FF8 has the best soundtrack in the series. Oh, nice. Very high yeah. praise. And I mean, they're all fucking good, so I mean, it's exactly. like, that's saying a lot. Yeah. Probably somewhere no, FF8 has an incredible soundtrack. I'd say it's pro it just barely edges out 6 for my favorite soundtrack in the series. Oh, and 6 is good too. Oh, it is. What a soundtrack that is. Holy crap. And what's what's nice is uh the uh I played the GBA version of FF6. Oh, uh-huh. But but it was with like a fan restoration mod. So it changes all the music to be the SNES music and all the sprites to be more oh, SNES cool. in coloring. So it actually like looked and sound nice, uh -huh. <laughs> but it, but it kept all the content. So nice. that was kind of like ideal experience, I guess. But mm -hmm. uh, overall, like the game, you know, f I still had fun, but like, God, that soundtrack, that soundtrack oh, never man. like I was never upset to be in a fight. You know, <laughs> just like right. I got to listen yeah. to the music. 
And the pixel remaster version of the soundtrack, just like the other five games, it just, it hits. It slaps so much. Oh, we got her to do the dance. <laughs> nice. Oh, there, yeah, I love that. So cute. That's so cute. Yeah, that's so great. I love these character models to death. They're so adorable. I love them so much. <laughs> oh, man, Jess, great point. Uh, isn't the game version of a Fever Dream LSD Dream Simulator? You know, great point, and I've never played that, but I so want to. Oh my god, if dude, if I could drop acid and play that game, I'd be a hundred percent down for it. I oh, I would man, same. Like at the very least, I would just get really fucking high and play it. Let's go. <laughs> that... Yeah, I think that would be a blast. It's actually what, what I was doing before uh, I jumped on stream with you between finishing my work for the day and jumping on here. Uh, I was just running by the dispensary to get a couple of edibles. So Hell yeah. just like that would be <laughs> that's the kind of game that I would love to play. I mean, there are certain, I like playing almost any game when I'm, you know, uh, when I'm high, but like there are certain games I feel like would be really enhanced by that. And that's one of them. Yeah. Like the ideal experience. <laughs> yeah. I think the, my, my number one favorite game, favorite game to this day to play while high is Knights. Like the original Ugh. Knights. God, I love that game so much. And it's just the, the whimsical Saturn era visuals just match so perfectly with the good high. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, for me, it's probably, uh, honestly, it's probably Smash, of all things, like... Yeah, I was gonna say, Smash would be the only thing that could, that could compare, like Smash Ultimate, for sure. Yeah, like Smash Ultimate, for me and my roommate, if we ever play that when we're baked, we're like, we're never upset if we lose or anything, because we're yeah, just, totally. we, we couldn't care less, but yeah. like, but, oh my god, what the fuck are these things? What the shit are these? I haven't seen him yet. Let's see here. Oh, ew. Ew. Oh. So all rounds are all, all rounds. Uh, al al rounds? Al yeah, round, al yeah. I don't, I don't know what the hell these things are. They suck. They scare you know me. What, though? Those designs rem remind me of two other RPGs I would really recommend that you play someday, which are uh, Shadow Hearts and Shadow Hearts Covenant. Never heard of those. Oh man, Shadow Hearts is a great series for PS2, and it's very, it's, they're almost like horror JRPGs. They're very macabre and have just very, um, they, they take place in the real world, like a stylized version of the real world in the 1900s. And there's just a lot of ho horror elements, really fucked up monster designs, a of, uh, of hilariously abrasive main character who is still a nice guy to, despite being a smartass, and got a good love story i cannot recommend shadow hearts and shadow hearts covenant enough nice all right i'll look into those yo she's doing it again it's okay so what's funny is she can do this at <laughs> any that. point in the game uh -huh. but like it's supposed to be rare but i i legitimately for the first half of the game never saw it like really that's so funny yeah but all of a sudden like lately she's just been throwing out a thousand of them and i'm like oh okay i guess this is right. what we're doing now <laughs> so you're you're in the second half of the game right now? Uh, roughly, like slightly okay. under fifty percent. Gotcha. All right, hang on, this guy. What do you have to say? I'm getting dizzy. I think I'm gonna throw up. From what? <laughs> what? Well, you're just standing here. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> what? Why are you in the middle of a desert? <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> Oh, it's called Kid Tiger <laughs> playing while drunk, and he said, fuck, I'm so inebriated. Yep, I have done that before, for sure. I've definitely... Uh, uh, I mean, it's always it fun, bit. though. <laughs> oh, it is, but it's definitely, like, I've, I, looking back, it was, I, I've had a couple of nights where I, like, immediately felt guilty, and I was like, oh, man, I definitely <laughs> overdid a little bit on one of those Saturday night, late night streams. <laughs> That's okay. It, it's all in good fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But no, like, I definitely have been... Uh, much more careful since then about like you know just how how hard I go when I'm even if it's like a late night stream with just Discord members, I don't want anybody to be like, wow, man, he's a fucking mess. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. You know? Understandable. Yeah. What was what was the thing like? I said there was like some Mega Man game that I I didn't like or whatever, and you just yeah like roasted <laughs> me for it for like two hours straight. You, you talked some shit about some Mega Man game. I, I It was probably Mega Man X or something, or, or you might have just said some shit about, like, Mega Man himself or something, and I just, like, ran with it because I was drunk as fuck. Yeah. 
like every now and then you would just throw it out there that like uh, i can't believe you said this like it, just, it hurt me my my drunk emotional self my heart was was wounded <laughs> which is <laughs> which is fair and i'm sorry but it, it was still funny no that was hilarious that was so good we need to find there's no items here okay i need to find where is a place where i can Wait a minute. This is the town of Rosetta. It's a nice town. Just like me. Dot, dot, dot. It, okay, if you call yourself a nice person, you're lying. Because that's... It's it's kind of bad vibes. I don't know. Like, uh -huh. I've had people, like, call themselves a good person. But, it, like, that means, like, you're just trying to compensate for something. I don't know. It just... It gives me a weird vibe. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Especially when, it, when it's done in the context of, like trying to date like, like trying to get with someone or date someone Oof. it's like yeah. yeah that's that's the kind of thing like i don't have too much of a problem if you you know say you know like oh i'm, a, I'm you know i'm a nice guy or i try to be a nice guy it's like okay you know sure yeah, i guess I'll, I'll make that judgment for myself as i get to know you but i don't have a problem with someone saying that in general but when people are like you know when people feel entitled to someone because they're they say they're a nice guy and this can go both ways, you know, any gender, it doesn't matter, but it's just, I find that to be so fucking gross. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's not, it's not a great feeling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, when I was in the, uh, the hospital a couple of weeks ago, um, there was a, uh, a person there who was, uh, very adamant that he was a nice person and tried to be good all the time, but he was also constantly hitting on nurses and other patients uh, oh no! Yeah, so it, you know, it, there there were a couple times where it was like I don't, I don't agree with you. Like, <laughs> like mentally, I was just kind of like, mm, I don't know about that, chief. Like, because he he would bring it up more than once that he was a good person, and I'm just like I, I'm I'm good on that. I, you're, yeah, you're, you're scaring me. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, oh God, I love this old school town. This RPG town, it's great. It's so good, right? Um, I'm trying to. Uh, do you know how the spell system in this in this works, or no? No, I don't. So essentially, you have a currency for spells called spell graphs, or crest graphs, and okay. you you, for example, I have one, right? So I, I bind a spell to it, and I just pick which one I want, and I can. Oh, okay. And then if I decide I don't want it, I can dissolve it at any time and redo it. Oh, and you get it back. So it's like skill points that you can resend after you spent them. Right. So it adds like oh, a cool. customizable aspect to it. Yeah, uh, very neat. I like that. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, That's one thing I, I have found to be a little bit lacking in Horizon Forbidden West compared to the first game. Like, I think in most cases it's probably better. But one of the things is the skills. And, the, and there are six different skill trees that you can spend skill points on to power up Aloy. And for the most part, those power-ups don't feel as significant as they as the ones in the first game like it doesn't feel as cool to spend ability points in this game as it gotcha. did in the first despite there being less skills overall i think there were only three skill trees in that game interesting yeah um. <laughs> skull kid says we all had fun and we're laughing that ash just blasted us <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm so glad that I didn't offend anybody that night because I sure felt guilty the next morning. I was like, oh, I went way too hard. <laughs> no, it was funny, though. It was worth yeah, not it. Not even because of that, just in general. I just fe I just felt like I just came off as sloppy. And I was like, okay, that's not cool. Oh, no, you're okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Beefing up uh, my Rudy's arms. Too. So he's doing more damage with his guns now. Nice. You know what? I'm, I'm, I think I'm here. Can I do this again? Yes. Okay, thank God. Why is this so expensive? <sighs> you know what? 99% is fine. I'll, I'll. Oh no! It won't let me upgrade that one again. Damn it. <laughs> Fucker. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted more than 95. Uh, wait, you were going to say something? Sorry. I cut oh, you no, off. Not me. No, not in that case, no. I had nothing. I, I don't think I was cut off. I don't remember it. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Uh. Nope. 
No idea. How would you pronounce that? Uh, L E L W. Yeah, L. I guess L. L. Yeah, I guess L. Like a little instead of just L, like L. What? That's weird, though. Yeah, like because I've been saying just E L because I, I don't know. I thought the W the W could maybe be silent, but nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ash is cool. <laughs> Shoutouts to Waffle King. Let's go. Oh, thank you. I try he to is. be as cool as I can. He is cool. Except that one time he got drunk and joined the Discord stream. That was really weird. No, I'm kidding. I know, I'm kidding. That's <laughs> <an asshole. laughs> uh. What does this one do? Uh. I always try to, in RPGs, whenever I have items that, like, give stat increases, I try to bring someone's lowest stat up to, like, balance yeah. everything out, but that tends to screw me over more often than not. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but luckily this game's been fine otherwise, so. Not, not as cool as you, though. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooler than THE Ash Paulson, famous for Good Dude. Vibes Gaming. I don't even, I, I, I agree with Waffle King. I, I don't even take offense to that. You are way cooler than I am. That's not even a question. I try my best. Yeah, man, I'm not even, I, I'm, I'm not cool to a, to a point. I'm all right, but nah. No, you're, see, you've done your shadow cool voice, man. so that means you're the coolest, you know? Oh, I mean, there is that. <laughs> I can be very cool when I go edgy and shadow. Absolute worst. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm Where afraid. Damn, fourth wild arms. <laughs> it's uh, it's on PS2. I did not hear great things. <laughs> right. Where are my guns? <laughs> I need my I need my AR. Oh, it turns out Shadow the Hedgehog was the sixth wild arms game, and we just never knew it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Aw, Jess, I feel like you have a bit of a bias, though. <laughs> Oh, it's uh, Loveless. Loveless is a uh, there, Loveless. big time uh, Wild Arms fan, and they were helping nice. me last time. So, and I have to assume from that name, also a big time Final Fantasy VII fan. Wait, is I'm that guessing. a? Oh, cause that's the uh, like the play, right? Yeah, or something? Loveless is the name of the play that the Genesis is dumbass. Genesis is, is, is dumbass goes all in on in Crisis Core. Oh, I I thought it was just like a background thing. Well, it is in the original, and then they make it, they bring it to the forefront in Crisis Core. It's probably the one part of Crisis Core's story that's really stupid. <laughs> I, I thought I thought Crisis Core had a lot of stupid things in it from what I've heard, but... Man, um... I love Crisis Core. Personally, I love it. But, like, uh, it does have some stupid things, and I would say Genesis in general, and just, like, the way he quotes Loveless, and Genesis was just not a good idea, unfortunately. Mm, gotcha. And I hear, like, apparently that character is the reason it doesn't get re-released. Because, like, apparently so. it uses a celebrity's likeness or something. Yeah, Gat, who's a big J-Rock singer. I, he might still be. I don't know if he still is, but be definitely at the time he was. And he was designed in Gak's likeness. And there was a the, one of the bonus cut scenes at the end of Dirge of Cerberus actually used Gakt as a live actor playing Genesis. So I think that's why, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. But, man, the, the ending in Crisis Core, though, like, you, obviously, if you played FF7, you know how Crisis Core ends, but despite right. knowing that, the way they just fucking twist the knife and they play it up as much as they can, it's still, it's still brutal, even if you know what's gonna happen. Gotcha. Because, yeah, I mean, we, we, like you said, if you played FF7, you know how it ends, so, like, yeah. but, like, the, the journey is the important part, you know? Exactly. So. Kind of, kind of the same with Lufia 2. It's a prequel, so, you know, then Lufia 1 starts with the end of the second game, so you generally know how it ends. But Lufia 2 adds enough context and extra, you know, detail on top of that that it still feels fresh when you get there. Wait, is this a misspelling? Because desserts is two S's, right? Yeah, that is a misspelling. I've eaten, unless they're talking about eating deserts, which would be weird. <laughs> If you beat deserts, dude, that yeah. how are you alive? And how did you yeah. fit all that sand? <laughs> exactly, right? Because I, I think 
uh, some trick someone taught me is if you ever need to know the difference between the two, you always want more desserts. So, yes, it's two S's. You want more. So, right. Uh, just saying though, Aerith's blue dress was very cute and fun. That model should be remade for 7R. Hell yeah. Agreed. Uh, 7 Remake, just in general, improved Aerith so much that like, it actually made her a character I like. I cannot stand Aerith in OG FF7. Can't stand her. Uh, I've always been hardcore Team Tifa, but in Remake, it's I'm still Team Tifa, but it's not quite as cut and dried. Like, I really like Aerith in Remake as well. Mm-hmm. She's a good girl. Yeah. I, I. Then again, I've only played original seven, so. Uh, oh, okay. Because I'm one of the weirdos that one doesn't like the direction they took with seven R, but also, uh, I'm waiting for it to you know be finished. Sure, and I don't think I don't think that's that weird. I feel like I, in general, hear you know at least an even split of people who are not a fan uh, a fan of what they did with seven remake. In terms yeah. of the, the overall direction they took it. I just I just don't think I don't think it's a remake, so I'm very upset by that. Because sure. <laughs> like, sure. it's yeah. it's not a literal remake. And I and that's the thing. I don't want it to be, you know, Link's Awakening, but I want it to be more than that. You know, like I wish right. it was a middle ground. <laughs> but it is what it is. It because I'm sure it's a fine game. I have I can't really complain since I've only played the demo, so <laughs> Right. right. <laughs> Flashbacks to 97 from the future. <laughs> God, I, does anyone... Okay, when, the phrase from the future reminds me. Did, does anyone here know the old YouTube channel Classic Game Room? Classic Game Room? No. Okay, so it... It was a channel run by some guy in yeah i wanted a remake not a reimagining correct um sure sure uh the classic game room was run by a guy named i want to say like mark uh i forget his full name but essentially his whole gimmick was he had like an 80s 90s cheese like where he would review games and stuff but it was under this idea that he's f in a space station from the future and oh, like man and he, he like i can show you some of the videos later he's very funny in the sense like his delivery and everything but uh he eventually just stopped making reviews and just fucked off and made other things now so okay. uh and his other things are not as good in my opinion but you know all po more power to him whatever he wants to do right but but uh it, it, the phrase from the future always reminds me of his channel and the stuff he used to make. So it was just, gotcha. it got me for a second. I do remember the gaming in the Clinton years stuff. That was weird. Oh, that I've seen like Twitter posts about that. Like it, it's weird, man. It's, it's a specific like review, right? Like it's a, yeah, like a yeah, set of a reviews. Specific set of reviews. And it's just by this, like, really just weird i don't know like he's just very hokey and very just cheesy but in like a in a in a, in a boomer way and, and, I, and i don't i don't think it's intentional oh and it's just and it's just weird it's and it's literally called gaming in the clinton years and it's just like it's like that bizarre. was the show's name yeah it, it was just bizarre <laughs> I'll, I'll see if i can find like a like an episode for you because they're like six minutes long but they're so worth checking out because they're just deeply strange huh is it we're so boomer inconsistent <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh okay so i guess this girl is the last living l uh and it's weird and she lives by herself and like no one talks to her or anything. This poor baby. Right. Whoa. That child laughing was Oh no. <laughs> Rat faced kids. Oh, they tease her. Fuck these kids. Well, kids suck. Whatever. I hate kids. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Me too. 
Okay. Every now and then they have like vocal clips and but they cut off just slightly too early every time and it's very funny to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure on CRTs it sounded a little nicer, but you know, in high quality headphones, <laughs> it, it sounds uh, a bit jank and it's it's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, like, trying to grow a garden, I guess. Oh, this is so sad. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, she's trying to... She's trying to cure the father? Of the boys who tease her. That... Oh, man. What a absolute sweetheart. Arnica will cure his illness. Um, I was afraid they'd do terrible things to the forest, so I kept silent. Let's go to the fort. Yo, let's go. Yes. She's the day one. She's a bad bitch. What? But she's <laughs> such a sweetheart. Hang on. Can I steal shit out of her house? Okay. Never mind. All right. I didn't know if I could or not. I just wanted to check. <laughs> All right. It always bums me out when there's like sad moments in RPGs like this. Cause like this random girl I've never met until now, it's just like, actually people hate me and I'm discriminated against. And yeah, at, but at the same time, I have a fucking heart of pure platinum and it, it like, I care about other people despite how they treat me. And it's like, damn, sure. Yeah. Damn. What a queen. Absolute legend. Uh, d oh, did you want to get going? It's been, it's been over an hour now. Like, oh yeah, no, I figured I, I, I wasn't, uh, in, in too much of a rush or anything. Plus, as I've said before, I never like to be that guy who's like, okay, it's been an, an hour on the dot. I'm done. We're done. That's just not me. So no, Fair I was enough. actually going to mention, I do need to get going soon. Cause uh, my wife and I are going to go have dinner and have those drinks I mentioned, but I, you know me, I never want to be that person who's like, okay, you, you paid for an hour and you get an hour. I'm like, <laughs> as long as I have nowhere that I have to be, I'm cool chilling longer than that. All right. Well, yeah. Like you, you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. Then, oh, yo, is this it? Oh, I totally want to. It's just a matter. No, I'm having a great time actually, just chatting and watching Wild Arms. But yeah, no, I do have uh, dinner and drinks to get to with my wife, so I probably should actually head out. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for hanging out. But yeah. No, thank you for for inviting me on your stream and and just having me do this for our quote unquote fight of founder for the month. I really appreciate it and. And anytime I see that you're streaming that I'm and I'm not like, you know, actively engaged in something I need to take care of, I'll pop in. All right, for sure. Sounds good, man. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your time uh, watching Wild Arms and you playing Wild Arms, Caitlin, and I'll talk to you all soon. Goodbye. Bye. All right, there we go. I mean, I'm still streaming, so you're all stuck with me, unfortunately. Oh. No. Oh my god, if this... Oh, yo, Rudy, let's go! Let's go, Rudy! Don't take shit from nobody! Oh. You gamer. Thank you, sweetie. Damn, Rudy fought. He punched that kid. Got, uh, gotta watch a person I follow and like. Not me. Damn. I have to get supported by my friends? The worst. Worst feeling. Can't even imagine what that's like. Did y'all see that, though? Rudy fucking punched that kid. It was a fucking ace move right there. That kid sucks. Move. Fucking cowboy hat.
What? It didn't cast a... She didn't cast a spell on you, you jerk. Hang on. What does this fucking guy have to say? This guy sucks. Uh, was going to. I don't know if she is now with you acting like that. Excuse me. Oh, wait. Where, where is she at? Oh, yeah. Over here. Yo, flowers. Thanks so much. Huh? I think I've gotten everything in the town, so I'll just, I'll head out, I guess. Oh! Oh, yo! It's the people with the cool music! Much better. Here it goes. It's a ruin called Volcanon Trap at the west edge of the Inner Sea. Rumor has it that the Guardian Blade used in the ancient war 1,000 years ago may rest there. wonder why people's interest in that sword has perked up all of a sudden. I came to see if you would join my search. I want the treasure in the Volcanon Trap, and you want the Guardian Blade. We could make a great team, don't you think? Ah. Uh... Hmm. I mean... <sighs> yeah. Take care of the monsters. Okay. You got it, dude. Oh no! I think that's one thing I forgot. I didn't. I don't think there was, but I wonder if there was uh, a guy to like buy ammo from in the town. Because I could really use more ammo right now. I mean, I have gun the bullet clips, I guess, so it's fine. But. Oh, and Skull Kid Tiger, I, I know you really want me to like go in on my thoughts about Breath of the Wild, but it's just a whole spiral of negativity I don't want to get into. <laughs> Hell yeah. Someday. But not today. Solo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is this it? Special key to open the door. <laughs> that's not a key, that's just a giant ass bomb. 
Jane does her thing. My work is so flawless and fat free. You guys take it from here. I'll take the... Oh my god. What is this lady on? You're damn right. No, no, no. Jane is top tier. She really is. Still not a hundo on basilisk, basilisk designs. I don't like the two tail thing they got going on. It's very creepy. Yo, we got the dance. Let's go. Oh, and uh, because I missed it three times, shout out to one one two. Uh, there were three of them during the time Ash was here, so I just wanted to throw it out there. Very nice. You love to see it. Actually, hang on. How many bullet clips do I have? I, I literally only have two. That's it's not great. What a weirdly specific amount. Oh, what is that? What is this fucking thing? Whoa. This, in my headphones, that sound effect is really cool. A peppermint with a parasol. I mean, it really is. Oh my god, he one-shot it? Nice. 26, 1000 HP. Not a lot of MP. Weak to holy. It's also weak to me beating the hell out of it. Jack, chill, bud. <laughs> Rudy's confused, but he knows we won. Where is it? There it is. There we go. I'm a the best. How do you feel about uh, status effects persisting after battle? It's one of the few games I've played that does that. Uh, I don't... I mean, I'm not, like, hype on it, if that's what you're asking, but, like, it's fine. Whoop. Ooh, Silver Harp. Ooh, Silence would be nice for... For her. Uh, what is it? But I don't want her, her like attack and stuff to go down. Well, then again, if she can't attack anyway, then that's also bad. So. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Damn. What? Wait, it meows. Why is this thing meow too?
Sorry, it was just, uh... Just checking something, sorry about that. Okay, we're okay. Ooh, you love to see it. I feel pretty good, like, getting these skill shots <laughs> with, uh, with Jack and his, uh, little hand pan friend. Why are you healing? I never hit you! There we go. I'm actually dealing some decent damage with those now. Oh, I can just walk around there. Oh wow, it actually made like a dragonish kind of noise. This game is like, it's kind of easy now that I got, oh wait, why are you fucking like this? Why are, uh, oh my god, and I just realized it has like the butt mouth. What does that even work? What is that mouth for? Like, evolution wise, why did it grow a mouth for an ass? It's a lot to take in. Those feet? Oh, yeah, them feet. Ah, no, no, no. Ironically, a lot to take in was my thought. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is like that's a big mouth to put on your ass. And I'm very curious why it was necessary to do. Jeez. Oh, Just open the fucking thing. Yo! Rocket launcher. You're sure as shit I'm gonna fucking use that. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> boast a boast baboon? Bost baboon? Alright, what does this do? Rocket launcher group. Okay, but it's for a brew. Eh, whatever, I'll try it. I'm curious. Huh. That's like kind of a... That's a little bit of a baboon noise, I guess. Oh my god. If you're gonna kill it... No! Why are you killing it? Stop killing things before I get to attack with cool shit. I wanted to see what it did. Do 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 do. You know what? Here, I'm just. What does fire do to them? I don't think I used fire. I think I, I think I only did Valkyrie on them, right? I don't remember. Why are you healing? Oh my god. Oh my god, Rudy, chill, bud. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was so many missiles. That dude pulled out the fucking weapon from Resident Evil and said, fuck it, you're dead. <laughs> I'm immune. Oh, <laughs> Jill, take this. Yeah, really. Turns out Rudy is the master of unlocking. Unlocking the source of pain. Stars! <laughs> Hello, Lon Lon. You could have been a Rudy sandwich. That was one heck of a wild arm. Or whatever. Let's see. Let's see what fire does to this creature covered in fur. Uh, wait, I didn't see... How much damage did the fire do? Did she even go? Did it just skip her turn? It doesn't matter, she's dancing. Is there... Is the... Yeah, there we go. I'm the best. Oof. That sucked. You know what? I could probably just tank all this anyway. I don't know why I'm being so careful, because, like, fuck it.
Hell yeah. Oh my god. I love that it doesn't do the rainbow squish when you kill them with an arm. When you kill them with an arm, they just explode. And it's very funny to me. There we go. Uh, do I go left or right? Visions. I'll go right. See what happens. Damn, are these things immune to magic? Wow, three battles in a row she did the dance. I think this was the way to go, so it makes me curious what the left path was. I just don't want to fight anymore. I'm just tired of fighting everything. Uh, wait. Um. Ugh. Jack's really close to a level up. Uh, I might as well fight something. Damn it! Now I don't know if that was the path to go. That was a little bit of damage. I feel like I'm a bit over leveled now. <laughs> I don't know what it, I don't know. It's just like having, having like above a grand HP, like all the time. And like enemies are just constantly trying to do ailments that aren't really working. Like they tried to silence Rudy, but that doesn't really matter because he can deal damage just fine. Ooh. Is this treasure chest? It looks like it, my lady. We have arrived at our destination. We will split up from here. I shall do my best to find the Guardian Blade. Well, I kind of... Can I, can I get a piece of that? Like, you know, there's like a little something going on there. I, God damn. We're just killing everything. Why is she dancing so much now? 
How do I go from like the first half of the game where she never does it to like the this part of the game where she just does it every other fight? It's just very funny to me. Whoa. I like clearly stepped in that and it didn't care. You know what? That was a that was a decent amount of damage. God damn it! Cecilia quit dancing. We're in a life or death situation here. I know you're trying to keep morale high, but. <laughs> Scratching sound? Oh, yo, it's this guy! Zed, at your service. <laughs> Let the execution begin. I'm up and totally ready to do... To go, dude. Who <laughs> says dude? Zed, Zed's the lad. Here we go again. No sunny breakfast for you tomorrow. God damn it. Spoiler reasons, got it. You can hear the voices of awe. I'm being praised as the best of the best. Alright, dude. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. You know what? Hang on. Let's, uh... I got a bunch of these. I might as well... Because I'm probably going to get a decent amount of experience from this guy, right? So... Ooh, I wonder if that would work on Oof. Damn. Damn it. I hate that it can miss. Like, I understand, like, they needed to balance it somehow, but missing is kind of not it. <laughs>
Nice. Oof. Damn. I did so much. Shout out to 1122. Which is just 112 with an extra limb. <laughs> Stop. No. Wait. Ugh. 3,600. Nice. Rudy's gone up a level. Nice. You're getting on my nerves. Next time you won't get a... <laughs> Next time you won't be so lucky. No more Mr. Nice Guy. But you're not even a nice guy. You're a villain. Okay, so it's a little weird. They gave me a save spot after the boss. Zed's the classic mustache twirling villain without a mustache. Fair. Oh. Oh, that's probably why they gave me one. You again. Oh no. Oh, they spread rumors about it. What the fuck? What? What the fuck is he doing? I don't become like big boy ultimate or whatever. My powers are being drained away? What? Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> The ruins will collapse? What is she doing? What the fuck? Wait, if I didn't go in there, would I have gotten that scene? No, right? I am a nightcrawler. Beware, human. Getting weak, but I'll never yield to a human. I still think his name was supposed to be Berserk, right? Like... Oh no, I'm out of bullets. Oh, you know what? Here, hang on. I'll just... Yeah. Easy. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh no!
Charge up. All right. Blaster howling. Oh my god. What was that? It didn't do anything. <laughs> was that supposed to be scary? I don't know. Oof. Damn, that was 800 damage? That was fucking beefy as hell. Alright. Alright, Berserk, you fucking... You dude. Actually, you know what? Here. Yeah, that way I top up everyone. Great. You love to see it. Here, you know... Oh, wait, you know what? Yeah, hang on. Yeah, that... Just in case. Uh, and then... I wonder... Damn it. I thought you could stack it. Or maybe you can and it just failed that time. That hits to 221, the opposite of 112. Damn. 1200, let's go. How much HP does this fucking guy have? It's so much health! Oh. I lost. I can't believe it. Ah. Oh. Yo, nice. 3,800. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. 10,000. Worth. 100% worth. Red Malice. Ow. You know what? I don't want to fight that guy again. Oh my god. What the fuck? I can't believe I lost to a human. I'll get you next time. How pitiful. 
You used all your powers and you still lost. And against humans of all things. Who was that? No way. You're not even a council member. Give me a hand. Gather my body parts and take me back to the photosphere. What? I have no hand to give to a loser. Oh. <gasps> what the shit? Climb here to my level of dreams. Oh my god. Get off me, you idiot. Aw. Rudy was embarrassed. Crush the treasure. What the hell are you doing? Look at this. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh my god, he's talking? He talked? You can't buy a life, but there are a lot of other things you can buy in this world. I can sing. <laughs> I can fight! <laughs> Berserk was defeated by the humans. He ruined the plan, so I gracefully gave him... <sighs> you can't teach an old dog new tricks. No need to laugh at his scattered remains. I heard it was a death befitting of him. Now that he's gone, we can have all the fun. With him gone, we can't call ourselves the Quarter Knights. <laughs> That's true. Uh, don't worry, my children. I already have a replacement in mind. Yo? My turn has finally come. With me, the Quarter Knights will revive like a phoenix. Come, Boomerang, show yourself. Wait, what? Oh, he got roasted. No, it can't be. He's no... The Cannibal. The Executioner. A man with his reputation should not be joining the Quarter Knights. What the fuck? To kill other demons was one of my missions. Of course, I don't... I didn't have any misgivings about that unimportant mission. I do as I please. Mother, this man is not suitable to be a knight. I cannot listen to you this time, my dear Zeke. Boomerang has a mission. You should understand this. I've told Boomerang to eliminate the humans guided by the Guardians that are preventing us from achieving our goals. I understand, Mother, if you say so. Oh, Zeke, my obedient and dear Zeke. Let me handle the elimination of the humans. I would like to see if they are worth the trouble. Let's go, Lucid. Is Lucid like the pup that was following? I just want to save my strength right now. That's why I sent him to go after the human beings. Don't worry, Zeke. Does that mean we are going to launch a major attack soon? Yes, but until then, no one must come near me. Understand, Zeke? I shall activate the Soldili. So, Soldaletta? I don't know what that is. Oh, defensive barrier. We'll keep any intruders from entering. It is the reason why our fortress is called the Photosphere, the Sphere of Light. Soon, we shall see chaos and destruction. Soon. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? It's like a weirdly intense scene for <laughs> for what it was. Oh, damn. They're like trapped in a honeycomb. What are you folks going to do now? We have some unfinished business. Certainly. We'll miss you. We'll see you again. 
It's a small world. Okay, I guess that was it. That was all we had to say on the matter. All right. Save. Needed to check some stuff, we're good. Uh, I can probably go to that, like, giant cradle now, right? Why is Meteor Dive, like, the most busted fucking move in the game? That does so much damage. giant cradle. It's like north of here, right? Oh yeah, it's north. Okay. Oh, you know what? Here, I'm gonna, yeah, rocket launcher. And then everyone else can guard. Miss. Nice. Oh no! You're gonna regret stealing 32 Gela from me. Die, motherfucker. <laughs> Aw. That wasn't hype. And now you all have to die. I hope you, uh... Accept your life decisions. I wish there was a way to save in the overworld. I feel like that was kind of a standard feature at this point. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Everyone cool? Oh. Are we chilling? Alright. I don't know why that was there. Oh! This game thinks it's like really funny, which is the best part, because it's not. Ooh. This is like the beginning of the game where Jack was like running from the boulders and shit. It was very fun. It was a very cool scene. 
Oh. Nice. Got double toy hammers for that. Then I go around. Oh. Okay. Up. Oh. I have to do it again, damn it. Oh, tried to squeeze by. Didn't work. There we go. Like afraid to go through every door now. I still got it. I knew it. I knew they were gonna fucking get me with that. <laughs> what a stupid fucking game. God damn it. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> You know what? That's like the least worst ailment you could give me. Because, like, it's. Like, countering is not the most common thing, so. And it's just bonus damage more than anything, so it doesn't really bother me? Question mark? Now, if that was, like, lowering my crit chance, then I'd be a little upset.
Just leave me. Oh no. Alright. Uh, whatever. I made it. Fuck you. Hang on, I don't... I don't trust the thing as far as I can fucking throw it. Okay. It was, it was a normal treasure chest. I'm just... I'm scared of everything now. <laughs> this dungeon has taught me to be very scared. Oh, holy shit. This thing is ugly. Yeah, burn it with fucking fire. Get this thing out of here. This looks like that, uh, what, what's that one enemy from fucking Ocarina of Time? The one with the, like, the hand that grabs you? It's in the well. Like, bottom of the well. The hell are those things? Never played Ocarina of Time. Wow! Uh, I think you're I think you're missing out. I think it's a pretty good game. I mean it's old. It's kind of flat, but you know. Oh, Dead Hand? That's what that's called. Shit, never played a 3D Zelda? Any of them? That's crazy. I mean to be fair, I've there's probably a couple series that are like big names that I've never played before either, so that's you know, everyone's different. But yeah, Ocarina's worth a shot. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. <laughs> Need to fix that. Fix what? Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Minish Cap, and Four Swords. Uh, Minish Cap is good. And I like, I think Link to the Past was an alright game. Minish Cap I liked a lot. God, these fucking things are creepy. What does the disease ailment do? I don't think I've gotten that yet. Like someone used it just now, but I didn't get it, so. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Uh. Keeps you from replenishing MP? Okay. Yeah, they. I figured they all do something unique. I just didn't know what that one specifically did. Those things are worth a lot. Oh, keeps you from recovering HP. Got it. Oh my god! I could thread the needle. Whatever, fuck you. 
I made it. There we go. Ooh. Giant. It's big boy. Can it be? Another one sleeps in this desolate ruin. It's one of the eight powers from a thousand years ago. A weapon built by humans to fight the demon race. <laughs> El, El Gigante? Yeah. But what should we do now? We need to figure out how to operate this thing. I know it's an overwhelming feeling. So, the only useful thing this does is fight? Is that what you're trying to tell me? We're going to awaken it to fight? A sword is made for cutting and a spear for stabbing. Mercy is precious, but mercy can also be an indulgence in a world like ours. I'm sorry, but let's ask that strange professor. She seems okay. You mean Emma in Adelheid? Uh, okay. Are you going to make me like... Oh, wait, hang on. The Fort of the Gods is an invulnerable machine protected by a magic seal. This is where the line... Lines blur between defense and offense. Ooh, hydrate. And do. Thank you, sweetie. <sighs> oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah. I'm out. Going to Adelheid. Um, wait, where is Adelheid on the map? It's like bottom left of the top continent, right? Centaur. Yeah, yeah. This is... Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it ought. There we go. I'm glad it isn't far away. Very glad. Uh, actually, you know what? Here, I'm gonna... Yes, please. Yes, please. There we go. Damn. Wait a minute, why isn't Cecilia leveled up? How do both Jack and Rudy get level ups but not her? What do you what's wrong with you? What's going on? She went in here. Only town that found a golem. There are supposed to be eight of them altogether. Uh, how many boss fights did you have ending with Cecilia knocked out? That's what none. I've had one fight that ended with someone knocked out, and it was a regular like battle. Oh, two to three levels within each other isn't a big deal. Got it.
Um, I don't think that's very useful because I kill everything so quickly. Traveling swordsmen, in my travel I have heard of scrolls called the Secret Sign, which pass on ancient sword fighting techniques. If you give me one of those scrolls, I will show you a new sword technique. Spare me one of your scrolls? I don't have one. Damn. Uh, is there somewhere I can get one? I've, I've gotten a bunch of them, but I always use them right away. Completed repairs on the town's cobblestones. Good for you, Tom. So proud of you, Tom. Good job, Tom. I don't even know where I'm like looking right now. Uh, many dungeons have one just hang on to it. Okay, gotcha. Fixed cobblestone so fast that I didn't notice that they were fixed until now. Emma, where's Emma? You know where Emma's? I thought it was the end of the world when the monsters attacked. I feel much better now that all the repairs are going on. Yeah, well. Oh yeah, I forgot you were in here. Another goal in the back of the room. Please take me there. You won't be sorry. I've experienced from the town of uh, tomb of Lolithia. Remember, lucky for you and lucky for me. Why do I feel like I'm the only one talking here? I guess I have the traits of a person born to be in charge. Okay, Felgaia Defense Force. Let's go take a look at this goal. I... <laughs> Alright. She's just a whole fucking mess. <laughs> Good girl. Wait, do I have to go through the whole thing again? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I never thought I would see this while still in my 30s. Hey, you guys, this is great. You must have good karma like me. I don't know like, I don't know about you. Hey, Mousy, give me a hand. You look like a candidate. What? What does that mean? What? What is it doing? He's a sp Here's what I've learned so far. I call this guy the Earth Goal. I found some ancient writing on him pertaining to the Fort of the Gods. It's written on the shield mechanism located on both sides of the arms. Since the rune is in such good condition, the golem is in perfect working order. The thing just stopped working. Right now, it's alive. Unlike Lilithia, this golem is just sleeping. I tried to wake it, but it needs a little more than a shove. Don't worry, when it comes to these matters, there's nothing I can't do. Let's go, Mousy. Try again. My god. <laughs> oh? Why won't you wake up? Get up? Why? After a thousand years, nothing has changed. People just want to use me as a weapon. I was born in a house that was a little different from ordinary people. As I grew up, I, I was looked after every inch of the way. 
what was really important for the people was the symbol I represented. Everyone thinks that because I'm royalty, I'm expected to act as one. But people only like me because I'm a princess. Sorry, I didn't mean to tell you all my problems. Thought you might understand. You didn't want to be born a weapon either. You understand me? No, everyone wants to use you as a... No one must know that you are awake. Please remain asleep until this is over. You can hear past my voices. You can hear the cry of the people under fire. You must wake of your own free will. Yo? Ow, I tried everything and nada. You, what did you do? Nothing. I was just talking to it. It decided to get up on its own. Who the hell cares? Now we have the power. We have the ancient antidote to the demons. No, it's not our weapon. It's joining us as a member of the group. Hey guys. See? The Earth Golem is in agreement. The voice pattern of the princess is now registered in the golem's memory. Please lend me your big hand in, for the future. A future where you're no longer needed as a weapon. Dope. Oh, that's, that's why in the center there's all the holes. So it can rise up. Yo, the song though? Ride the Earth Golem, walk to the Golem, and push the Accept button. You can dismount the Golem by pressing the Cancel button. It's large enough to walk across shadow, shallow water, but too large to go through a forest. The shields on both sides keep enemies away while traveling. It's a little low on output. Too bad we can't expe expect more from it. I sure would like to upgrade its shields. It's a defensive Golem. It's not made for battle, but it can cover a lot of ground. I have to get back to Adelheid to study the data from this discovery. I have a few things to try out. It could lead to a new Emma motor. Oh, she took my boat. Great. Oh, okay. I was oh, she sent it back, I guess. Never mind. Yo, this is dope. It can't run, though. Why? What do you have? Can't carry you. Nullify poison, disease, all this. Sunglasses? Dope. Love it. It's very cute. That's cool that there's like a shop for this now. The snow monster is not for you to fight. Perhaps. Oh, I'm just, is that like a random encounter? It's really nice I don't have random encounters with this fucking thing. I'm so tired of them right now. National Treasure Photosphere Excavation Site. Off Limits, Kingdom of Arctica. Oh, 
Oh, yo, that's where I'm going. I just wanted to see what else was there. But I guess I can just go fight them now? Even the Earth Golem can't penetrate the force field. Great. Port same. Sign? Who are you? A village of orphans and people running from the monsters. Jeez. Ready? You see the babe that came out of that huge mansion? What a set of legs. When I'm watching the children, I see a glimpse of hope in this wasteland. Good for you, bud. This place gives me the creeps. Jesus, rude. Make yourself at home. The children like songs about heroic knights slaying monsters. Good for them. Yo, let's go. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Maxwell came to this town and spent his fortune on the children. What are you, like, running in place for? Are you okay, lady? The song and Rudy's theme, Alone in the World, are amazing. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I feel like I'll need this at some point. Excuse me. Next time the boss comes back, we're going to go on a picnic. Aw, so nice. Cozy. Water, fire, wind, thunder, holy, evil. What do these do? I'm assuming they, like, give them weapons and stuff? The properties of those? Breaking? Oh no. Sounds hype though. Oh my god, so many kids. 
called her our boss for use. It's unusual to call her Sister Jane. <gasps> what? No way. Are you kidding? It's her? We, I want to be like her. Jane is our breadwinner, but we have no idea how she gets the money. She's a treasure hunter. That's so cool. Thought my boss came back. Actually, hang on. First time I've used your fucking shit in a while. Whole body feels weird. Doesn't feel like my body. What the fuck? Alright, dog. Even my children must stick together. My sister and I grew up in the orphanage. How long? Uh, I don't know, maybe half hour to an hour or more. Oh, I'm just kind of chilling, hanging out. Can I have a beer or two from the shop? Oh, yeah, yeah, head out. No problem. I'll probably be going for a little bit longer. A long time ago, Mr. Maxwell began researching ancient technology in the town of Malama. Enjoy the story and vibes and such. Have fun. Uh, he moved here to house orphans that he took in from the wastelands. It's a lot of work to raise that many orphans. His two daughters act like the big sisters of the orphans. Oh, that's so oh, cool. I love it. Oh my god. There we go. Really just kind of sucks. It really sucks. Like, he's good for defense, I guess, but... And, like, he has a high HP stat, I guess, but... I don't know, like... He doesn't do as much damage as Jack, and he doesn't have the versatility of, uh, Cecilia, so... It's hard to be like, oh yeah, he's he's great. I guess he has the guns, but or the arms, but I don't know. Oh, Nicoli Maxwell, I'm the arms maester in this tiny village. Long ago, I was one of six who studied at the old man's lab, the Zeppet Rough Knight Laboratory. Wait a minute. Oh, yo. Led in the study of ancient technology, do you? What? Rudy Rough Knight? Yes! The old man's grandchild. I knew it. I knew Rudy's name. Like, I knew he was called Rudy Rough Knight, and I was like, I just thought that was his name. I didn't realize. Oh, that's cool. He used to call him Meister Zeppet the old man. How is he? It's been close to 15 years. Rudy starts uh, to talk about the, his dream chaser days before he met Jack and Cecilia. Zeppet Rough Knight. He thought of Zeppet as his father. He was an old dream chaser who had raised Rudy since infancy.
During their travels, Zeppet taught Rudy the life of a dream chaser. Most importantly, he gave Rudy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. One day, the inevitable happened. The old man's traveling days came to an end. Rudy was now tasting the true meaning of being alone. Oh. Rudy buried the remains of the old dream chaser on a hill that the old man was fond of. The rest is history. Sorry to hear that. He was... It's quite an arm you've got there. Do you know how to use it properly? I guess the arm would not have synchronized with you if you didn't know how. My daughter Jane is also capable of synchronizing with an arm, but not nearly as powerful as what you have here. Yo! It hurt! Hello! <laughs> what are you guys doing at my house? Jane, do you know these people? No, no, Papa. I met them just a little while ago. Why are you in such a hurry? I'll be upstairs. Please, make yourselves at home. Jane is a good daughter. It's because of her that I can keep the orphanage running. Go to the southeast and cross the shallow water. There you will find the Epitaph of the Sea Wind. It is an uncompleted tower reused in the research of a flight machine. The research Meister Zeppet and myself left behind may be junk to some, but you might find a use for some of it. Take this key. It might look funky, but it will get you inside. Many of Zeppet's belongings from before Rudy was born are still here there. End up key? Yo, that's so cool. I'm studying the workings of the arms under Nikolai. Uh, if... <laughs> feel like a full disciple now. If you want your arm modified, please allow me. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god! These deal so much damage! Oh my god. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my god. The rocket launcher. Let's go. Oh my god, but the accuracy is fucking piss. Damn. I kind of made out like a bandit there. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's him. Hello, friend. Thank you for what you've done for my mistress. Will you be holding a humble banquet on your behalf? The mistress is waiting for you. I hope you have a good time. Yo. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna ignore you real quick. I have some stuff to sell. Need some more cash. Need some more moolah. Some money. Sell.
All right, feeling good. Now to get some more upgrades. <laughs> no. Now. There we go. All right, feeling good. Got plenty of stuff. Now I'm going to go load up on ammo. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, and then I'm good on health and stuff. You didn't tell my pops that I'm Calamity Jane, did you? I'll never forgive you if you gave him even the slightest hint. What? I thought they were holding like a banquet. Am I supposed to like join them or not? I mean, I may as well go check the, uh, whatever the fuck, the key he gave me, right? So. Half. See. Some kind of mechanical device that seems trashed. What the fuck? Meh, figured I might as well try it. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Hang on. Alright, let's see what this fucking hand cannon does now. Now I've beefed it up. My dude, Rudy's officially packing heat. Let's go. Ah, okay, yeah, got it.
Oh, there we go. Oops. Damn. All right. Get these guys out of here. Oh, shit. That was Satan. Oops. Um Yeah. I knew it. I was looking for a crack in the wall and I found it. All right. First, fuck that guy. He sucks. And second, fuck that guy. He sucks. Silenced. No. Damn. Rudy didn't give a shit what that guy wanted. My God, the spell is so slow. See, that one's like quick. It's just like a one hit, works or doesn't. It's not a whole fucking event. <laughs> Every time. Damn it. I was looking for cracks in the wall specifically because of that. Uh... There we go. Oh, you know what? Rocket time for them. Their lives are gonna fucking suck. Hang on. That's gonna be fun. Nice. A epitaphy, yeah.
<laughs> it's still very funny. Let's see how much the prism ray does now. Nice. Oh, it does a lot of damage. That was about, so 1,200 a piece? That's pretty fucking good. Yo, is she dancing? I wish they all had, like, alternate victory ones. That'd be really cute. Mel 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 Melclus Mer Mercurius? I don't I don't know. I don't know what these things are. I hate them and I'm gonna kill them because I'm scared of them. I'm an American, that's how I do everything. They do not have a lot of health. Oh no, no, it's not what I wanted, no, let me back. Ah, no, no. Oh, okay, these guys, these guys are about to get fucking pranked. Oh, come on. I didn't want you to kill it. I wanted to kill them all. I wanted Rudy to do it. Yeah. Wait, was there anything else in that room? Oh, yeah, there was a doorway. I knew there was. I was like, what the fuck? Oof. They were weak as hell to that. Oh. No, the door. Jack, your name looking at it. Are we trapped? 
Someone has trapped us in. I'm ready. I'll kick as many butts as I have to to get us out of here. Uh. Uh, can I talk to you? <laughs> Come with me. Okay. Slow down, pup. God. My master awaits. That vibration. It was a guardian. Seed getting that good cardio. <laughs> The Guardian of Desire, Lucide, the Black Wolf. <laughs> Did she lock us in here? Was there anything in this room? Like, is there treasure in this room? Uh, nice. Oh no. That's good. Oh, the point of the room is just her. Okay. I will never not be entertained by that. It's very funny. Ooh. Hang on, hang on. There's a hole in the wall. Can you use your fucking boy to pop it open? There we go. Metal bird? This book contains theories and applications for the flying machine known as the metal bird. Opened up another door. There's a book called The History of Arctica. Nah, I'm good. This book called The Wind Sea. No. Erotica. Yeah, alright. Not yet. <laughs> I see there's a door behind that bookcase, though. I couldn't help but notice that. Oh my god! Haberin? Haberim? It's like a owl-snake hybrid? What? What is this gross thing? Uh, we'll pair nicely with this. It's in, oh, Sierra Nevada Torpedo, call it an IPA, and ooh, nice. That actually does sound really good right now. <laughs> Password: The one who seeks the ocean wind, you shall receive the gift of flight. I'm assuming it's the. The thing I just found, which is Metal Bird.
I recommend if you can find it. It's a locally brewed but nationally available if you're into beer. Uh, I don't know if I'm into beer. Like, I've drink, I drank it before, but, like, I don't think I've ever had an IPA specifically. Like, I've had, like, you know, standard, like, Miller Lite kind of ch ch shit, like, in a can. And I'm not, like, gotta have it, but, you know, it, it's a thing I've drank before, I guess. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm, I'm usually much more of like a fruity drink kind of person. That's usually this girl's kick. IPAs are strong, generally higher alcohol percentage drinks. Not the kind of thing you'll kill a few on Fridays. They're bitter, taste strongly of grapefruit, generic citrus, meant to be drank slowly. Okay, that makes sense. Something to, like, sip on. Not really. Like a drink, per se. Which is understandable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I can use a duplicator on this, right? Hang on. Yeah. I'm not getting hammered over here. Fair enough. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes you just want to kind of, like, chill out with something. I feel it. done fruity mixed drink thing maybe i should try it i have a soda stream and a spearmint bush in the garden oh yeah that'd be cool but yeah oh i'm more, i'm more so talking about like i don't know like mike's hard lemonade kind of stuff like that kind of fruity drink oh my god yo they hooked me the fuck up and i got a secret sign so now i can go get that special skill Skates? When Rudy uses the roller skates to travel, Ru Rudy can maneuver through different terrain without being affected by dangers damage zones on the ground. Oh, that's so cool! Mike's cranberry are quite good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, mojitos. Oh my god! Storm Drake. This is a big boy. He a big boy. Let's see if I can cut his HP in half <laughs> just to fuck with him. Wait, he only has like 1800 HP? That's fucking nothing. He crosses his hands like, you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> this fucking dragon. Oh my god, you can't stop it! Rudy was fucking schmoovin'!
Alright, come on now. Reflex. Ooh. All right, I guess that's Verity. Nice. Makes it a little nicer. Are they doing? Oh! I didn't think it would blow up. The explosions occurred because of a buildup of internal pressure. What? In English, please. English. The energy level got too high in, in too close of a space. You know what happens when energy overloads? You got it. It blows up. I'm going to apply that knowledge to a new fast draw technique. Yo? Yo, let's go. I'm going to need to uh, message Ash again, but if, if he was serious about doing more Drunk Mario Party with him and Steve, then I would I would actually love to do like a 50 turn Mario Party Superstar stream like with Drunk Mario Party, which is like super fun to do. Oh, it's him again. A new demon, but this one seems a little different. I see that you have followed Lucid's directions well. Lucid, the guardian of desire? Why? Why are you siding with the demons? Ooh, WarioWare? That'd be intense. My name is Boomerang. Here's a little something I, I've cooked up for your party. Oh no! Uh... Sadly, Superstar's turn cap is 30? What? Uh, maybe I could maybe I could get them in on, like, Mario Party 3, the best game, so we can play Waluigi's Island. Uh, hmm... I think you mean seven? Uh, no. Actually, no. I don't play garbage, Jess. Sorry. Blast charge. Nice. Oh my god, they fucking murdered her! Die, dog! Damn. I did so much damage. A localized blast. Wow. <laughs> it's not my fault if you can't handle the truth, babe. Oof. That hurt. He just pops right back up. We gotta get two of us and the whole GBG crew together to play eight party mar eight player Mario Party set. Fuck that. That sounds awful. I'd lose my mind having to wait through all those turns.
Jesus Christ. These dudes are beating on my ass. Fuck you, it's fuck. <laughs> Thank God I got an ailment off on the fucking guy at least. It's four teams of two. Well, whatever, you get what I mean. I haven't played Mario Party in years. I need to bully my friends into it. Hell yeah. Mario Party's fun. Well, depending on the Mario Party. Jesus. Wait, what? That way I can attempt to survive something. Oh, there we go, there we go. That sounds hard and hilarious. Sick of you, pooch. Sit down. Oh my god, it's just so quick. <laughs> the fact that is fucking like, wah, is just so fast is hilarious to me. Alright, need to slow that pooch down next. On work, work, work. Damn it. Damn, that did a lot. Oh my god, he's hanging in. Shit, he's barely in there. It's okay, we got you, bud. Uh, it's amazing there's a, there's unique minigames for a two. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes, we got the dog out. Okay. I mean, this guy sucks, but at least he only has one turn. So now I can just beat on his ass the whole time. I actually didn't know it had unique minigames. Boomerang fights are fun. Spoilers, now I know I fight them later. Surprisingly, I don't just fight them once. <laughs> I, I want to tell you a thing, but I don't want to tell you a thing. Uh, what's a thing... What is the thing related to? Is it, like, spoilers, or...? Because now I'm, like, afraid. Oh, okay, an optional super boss. That's pretty cool, though. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, I assume I just fight him later if I want. Yeah. 
Damn it. All right. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. The lads are saying something about raiding in Destiny 2. Oh, nice. Have fun. Hell yeah. Have a good night. Oof. I actually don't know how much Cecilia heals now. Oh, there we go. I hit him with so many rockets. Thirteen hundred is pretty nice, <laughs> but I, don't, I actually don't know how much HP he has. I spent all my like attacking power on the fucking dog earlier. Pathetic fools going up against the demon race. 2800, nice. Alright, the cycle of desire never ends. Lucid lives. If you wish to defeat me, you must attain the miracle you seek. You can win that yourself, I shall appear again. He was just testing us. Rune Drive. Uh, okay. Wait. Hang on. Hey. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. It's like a... Oh, what is it? Uh, a regen. Please. Okay. All 
All right. Whew. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a big stream. It was about four hours. So, you know. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to call it there for the night because I do have stuff to do in the morning and I'm very tired. So I'll talk to you all later. Thank you all for hanging out. Good night.